Hello and welcome to another battle report on the 18th Cadian Army Group YouTube channel. It is a sub channel of Striking Scorpion 82. And we have civil war that is erupted. It is the Astra Militarum 18th Cadian Army Group versus the militia. The, yes, the militia have done an uprising. They are not happy with the Imperium. And they have rebelled against the Emperor of Mankind. So it is a desert city, but it is slightly overwhelmed with foliage. So it is quite a uh, fresh uh, place. It is habitable, but as you can see here, the ruins of war has affected this sector here. So this is brand new terrain that was very, very kindly uh, painted by some of the members of SSWG. So we have the original Warhammer 40k ruins, but in desert color scheme, which will look really, really nice indeed. So for why not, we'll try it out in the game and uh, showcase it in this episode today. Right, so this is 2,000 points of the glorious 18th Gadian Army Group. So yes. it is, who said that? Who's here today? One of my patrons, Paul <laughs> David Gray, and he's brought his militia. This is going to be some fight, this is. So I've actually tweaked and enhanced the list a little bit more, I believe, a little bit more effectively. Now, we both attended the Striking Scorpion 82 Phoenix yes, Lord Grand Tournament, and what a day that was. What my dice rolling did to me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> So we are back in a good mood playing another game of Warhammer 40k and I've learnt a few lessons in that tournament so uh, the, the list is a little bit, it's not super competitive because I obviously want to try out new stuff. new stuff. I want to try it out and that's what the channel uh, is all about. So uh, this is 1995 uh, in points, it's just slightly uh, uh, under the 2000 point mark. And we have here, and it's not the new codex, I wish we got the new codex now, but we are still waiting. But at least we're not last this time around. Yes. <laughs> and it's been confirmed, the codex will be coming very soon. So we're looking forward to that. Now, let's get to what we have got in our force. Let's zoom in here. Uh, so, we have the Castellan who has the Enhancement Drilled Commander. Now, we just uh, had a discussion off camera regarding a little FAQ. So with the Castellan, uh, if he remains stationary with the uh, Drilled yeah, Commander awesome. ability, it's fives popping. Yes. Because, yeah, otherwise that'll be a little bit OP. A touch. No, <laughs> but we don't care because we're fighting Astro at the time, same faction. So uh, who cares? Well, I might care, and you'll see when you come to my army. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, seeing the amount of stuff that he's got. So, uh, <laughs> so we've got the Castellan. Now, the Castellan's equipped with a power sword and a plasma pistol. We have a unit of Kassokins. Now, I haven't got Fox Casters, so it's literally WYSIWYG because of the oh. older models, but I thought I'd try them out with the yeah. new 10th edition uh, rules. So this is a pre-slash-post-fall army. Right. The, theme. the new models are purely post-fall Cadian army. Gotcha. So um, the Kassokin Stormtroopers, Sergeant's equipped with a power sword and a hotshot las gun. And then we've got a grenade launcher and a flamer. The rest are equipped with uh, las, uh, hotshot las guns. They've been transported in the Chimera and that's commanded by Chris Kameski. So we have that there. We have a tank commander, which is Daniel Baker, now equipped with a demolisher cannon, a Sponson multi-melters, and a whole-mounted las cannon. Now, I don't have stubbers on any of these tanks, except for the Rogaldor, because everything I do is wizardry. It's just easier for me. If I literally see the weapon, I know it's there, yeah. rather than being <laughs> stealthy-fied, Tau, Xenos rubbish. So, <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> rant over. Then we have a unit of armoured sentinels. Now, normally I'll give them las cannons, but for, why not? I'll get the missile launchers out. Why not? Get it out there. So not then, tailored at all? Yeah, it's not tailored. <laughs> not tailored. <laughs> and then we have two units of 20 Cadian uh, shock troopers with a command squad, Cadian command squad attached to them. 
So each of the commanders is equipped with a power fist and plasma pistol. And we have, uh, both have a regimental standard, both have a vox caster or master vox. And then we have uh, a medic as well and a melter gun in each. Now one of these is Anthony Leach, we have here. And we have uh, Harrison Leach as one of the guardsmen. We have uh, Sergeant Cross over there as well. And then we have uh, Peter Nastro as well over here. I think that's all the uh, units there. So each of the um, Cadian Shock Troopers is equipped with two Voxcasters, two plasma guns, two melter guns, and laser guns. Lots of laser guns. Same here, exactly the same here, just to save time. So I'm going to call out the names here. And then we have the Zoid Forge. We have Shea Strait. And then we have uh, Donald Hammer. So we have those uh, comrades there. Then we have two units of heavy weapon squads of mortars. And we have field ordnance ca cannons. Archie Edmonds is in command of the battery uh, today. Then we have the tanks in support. So we have Kieran Dix, who is a bit with the Punisher. I haven't used the Punisher yet in 10th edition, so I'm going to try that out. Uh, Sponson heavy bolters and a hull mounted heavy bolter. Uh, dev wounds against infantry models, which is quite <laughs> nice. Yes. <laughs> not against monsters or vehicles. So a bit of a yeah, there. that's not an effect with me much. <laughs> now the Lean Ross Exterminator. Now Lean Ross Exterminators are quite good. So if I hit the target, any other unit gets a further AP minus one, gets the same unit. It's basically overlapping fields of fire yeah. without having to pay a strategy. Having to pay, pay a strategy, yeah. And that was ridiculously expensive in CP. Oh, yes. <laughs> so the uh, Exterminator Auto Cannon, uh, which is twin linked, and then we also have uh, Sponson Multi Melters and a Hole Mounted Last Cannon. We have the Lean Rust Vanquisher. I haven't tried this in 10th edition yet. Really looking forward to it. So Maxfield uh, Knuckles is in command of that vehicle. Sam Hermes is in command of the uh, Exterminator. And then we have Kieran Dix uh, in command of the Punisher. So the Vanquisher Cannon is equipped with Hole Mounted Last Cannon, Sponson, uh, multi melters, and then we have, of course, the Vanquisher Cannon on that. We have a Tech Priest Engine Seer. Now, who is this Tech Priest Engine Seer? Do, 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 do. It is. It's <laughs> the man himself, Paul David Gray, who is here. He's there lurking he in your ranks. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and then we've got the Rogal Dawn Battle Tank. Now I'm going to try out the Twin Battle Cannon in this episode. Right. Uh, Rerolls to wound if it's twin linked. Fair. Pretty good. And I'm going to try out lots of Dakar. So 18 shots with the Stubbers. And then plus the Castigator Gatling Cannon. But I've got a little bit of anti tanker support with the Multi Melters. Right. There. So, 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 so. so that there is about 2,000 points. Just under, which is 1995. Before we head over to uh, check out Paul David Gray's list, please remember if you've enjoyed our games, it's very important to hit that like. It's an order from the High Commander himself. If you don't, you'll be summonly executed by my personal commissar. Or join the militia. Or join the militia. <laughs> <laughs> Only joking, by the way. Um, so if you enjoyed this content, please remember to hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe today. And hit the bell icon so you'll be notified of when the next battle report will be up. I do monthly battle reports on my channel, but I also do other battle reports uh, when SS82 comes over. Uh, so that will be uh, grand as well. And if you want to support the channel, uh, the new perk system has been retweaked and reorganized. It's a lot cleaner, streamlined and a lot easier. And I've trimmed down the perks uh for the page as well so i think there's only five perks in total so condensed it down and you get even more in the package especially if you're an army group member that's the tier that i recommend so the more of those the brilliant and then if you want to get your name shouted out etc you can always promote yourself to bronze silver and gold star members to check out patreon.com forward slash the 18th k and army group and also you can check out the two tiers 
on my YouTube membership as well. If you support on both platforms, you get extra perks on top of that. Do check that out there. And that is it. So uh, just remember to do that. It would be really, really appreciate uh, your time. And a special shout out to all the Patreons uh, that are currently supporting me, as well as YouTube members. And uh, thank you very much. Let's continue on in the list. Here we are. So, Cadia stands, and for the Emperor, let us eradicate the militia today. So here we go. So that's the 2,000 points. Cadians. Let's check out the militia force. Now this is a really interesting force. And guess what? They are legendary units in this game. Super excited. And one of my favourite units I've yet to paint. We're going to find that out next. Right, this is the 2,000 points of Renegade Militia. Renegades? What do you call Renegades? What I call them one? Renegade. Not to my standards. Is that a... <laughs> <laughs> we are zealous for the Emperor, indeed. So, this is... Is it 2,000 points? 2,000 on the nose. 2,000 on the nose. So, uh, he will have a slight advantage here, but uh, it's not the case, because we want to win the war. Um. Notice who has armour and who hasn't. Yes. <laughs> no, this is a lot of infantry. Now, how many infantry have you got here? A uh, hundred. <laughs> One hundred infantry models. Wow. <laughs> so, I have no idea uh, what this composition is. So, Paul David Gray, take it away. So, we'll go uh, left to right with my left anyway. Yeah. So, we've got two Goliath trucks, which I've nicked from Gene Steer Colt. Yeah, and uh, as you can notice on on them, I've actually put gangers on the back to represent yeah. what units are actually going to be riding inside. Yeah. So and also on this one, this one looks is more of a coerced thing. Ooh. So it's actually uh, do as we say, or we shoot your head off. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we've got two uh, Goliath trucks. Which when I built these, yeah. which was eighth edition, you could have heavy stubbers on those. Right. You can't anymore. <laughs> so it's all bollocks. Why the change? I don't understand. So I apologise to the WYSIWYGs that that will happen this time. No, it's okay. It's okay. Um, They're just out of commissioned. Yeah, basically, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so the front front squad is a unit of 10 Death Corps Creek. Yeah. Uh, Sergeant has a bolt gun and chainsaw, which is on the east side. Mm -hmm. Also has a grenade launcher and a melter gun. Yeah. And a medic. Okay. The back squad is a unit of 10 Katasha and Jungle Fires. Ooh. With Flamer, Flamer. Yep. Um, then behind them, the Riot Squad. Oh, he's, he's trying to get away. <laughs> the Riot Squad is uh, acting as a unit of um, guard sub. Oh, sorry, that's Arbite sub actors. Oh, okay. Um, so they are. These actual models are Necromunda subjugators. Yeah. Um, but they're. Also, a cheap man's sub mm -hmm. Uh Same as same composition. Got mauls. They got pistols. They got shields. Yeah. So they actually have four plus and five save. Oh right. As well. So okay. quite nice. Yeah. And at the back, two actual hellhounds. Yeah. Uh, might be a bit sexy for for uh, riot squads, but these were actually eBay saves. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so brilliant. Uh, Inferno cannon and multi muzzles. Yeah. Then a little bit further over, go from front to back again. Yeah. Um, the army commander, just for composition, there's a little bit of uh, uh, minor fluff to this. He is actually technically my commander of the force. Yeah. Lord Judge Arbiter Murphy. Lord Judge Arbiter Murphy. So imperial until the last word. Murphy! <laughs> <laughs> or Murphy's Law. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, but because of the way the interactions work yeah. he the temp, he's now Tempest uh, this guy here mm -hmm. is a Tempest uh, command squad mm -hmm. uh, with a bolt pistol and a knife mm -hmm. uh, has a plasma gun has a melter gun and the sniper rifle is a hot shot volley gun right there is a medic yep. and there is also an Ogrim bodyguard ah. which is Necromunda Amber Necromunda yeah, Amber right gotcha. uh, it has a ripper gun and a ball grin shield that gives it a 4 plus invulnerable Okay. they are going in that camera okay then I have two units of five scions. Yep. Um, sergeant, sergeant, plasma, plasma, melter, melter. <laughs> <laughs> then behind them, I have ten Katashan general fighters, the miners. 
Yep. Led by who I like to call Mr. Garibaldi. Now, yep. if you've watched Babylon 5, you re recognise the reference. Mm -hmm. And there's a certain scene in the time loop where he's firing a big, massive gun. Yeah. That is actually where this guy gets his inspiration from. I assume in <laughs> Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So, Sergeant Hark... He's my Sergeant Hark kit bash. Mm -hmm. um, and beneficial day scout as well. So, not mm. day scout and day scout. Yep. Uh, I have behind them two Taurus Venators. Look at them. Imagine it being the mining guild or mining security guilds trying yes. to protect the mines from what's meant to be the gangers, but they've all been press ganged <laughs> into service yeah. in the same place. <laughs> um, moving a little bit further on. Mm -hmm. So we have the man himself, Lord Judge Arbiter Murphy. Yep. Uh, he's leading, he's actually a Lord Inquisitor in Terminator armor for this battle. Mm hmm. Has a storm bolt, has a power fist, and um, there may have been some corruption there because he's got psychic powers. <laughs> ah! Now we've discovered what. Well, the, the original idea he, for the Civil War. The original, original idea was he's meant to be a Yarrick kitbash mm -hmm. when I built him. And it, when I was thinking about if a, um, to use him as a Yarrick, that would be his bad eye. Yeah. But. It also makes it sense if I, if I want to be comfortable as well. <laughs> <laughs> He's leading a 10 man unit of science. Yep. With two plasma guns and two hot shot guns. Yep. I then have three ball grins. Yep. So these are Ogrins, slave Ogrins. Right. So they have, I, I'm using the shield generators as ball grin plate, mm -hmm. uh, ball grin plates. So they've got invulnerable saves. Yep. And they're going to have grenadier gauntlets as they technically have on the models. Okay. Yeah. Behind them is a squad of citizens, which I'll use as Cadian shock troops. Citizens, eh? Yep. Yeah. They're not citizens in our army, that's for sure. Oh, you guys don't have citizens in your army. I have citizens in mine. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> they are led by a gang leader who's going to be a Cadian Castellan. Yep. Uh, so the Castellan has plasma pistol and power fist. Um, and then there is a just a solitary grenade launcher in, in the Cadian shock troops. Mm -hmm. Everything else is, is as is. Yeah, all busy big. Um, behind them, we have two rapier laser destroyer oh, batteries. Oh, yes, this is what I'm talking about. I do have a unit of three of these. <laughs> took forever uh, to find. It took I'm, me five okay. years to find an original model. And he's going to hate me because I bought all six of them one eBay so. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but time wasted. We want the rapier laser batteries. <laughs> <laughs> um. Right. Such go. a classic model. Here Absolutely they are. love them. Um, models. The idea I had behind these was that it was going to be that there were mining lasers that have been co-opted mm. into service. Yeah. Um, very powerful mining lasers, I'm not going to lie, but they're mm. mining lasers co-opted into service. <laughs> <laughs> and then further on to the right, yep. we have a platoon command squad. Yep. So platoon commander with bolt gun and power fist. Yes, I did nick the bolt gun from a, from a space marine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> The heavy bolt weapon team. Yep. And if you notice, they come out the base. Oh, right. Okay, yep. <laughs> Makes it easier to pack. Mm -hmm. With a technically platoon standard, but you don't get standards in militias. No. So we we have a sister holding a relic. Oh, there you go. It's one of the local nuns of, uh, is going to battle with a relic. Okay. And also we have a medic here as well. Okay. They are leading a group of 20 Death Corps Krieg. Right. It's a mismatch of regiments. Yes. Together. Yeah. Basically, the idea I'm, I'm looking at is different um, troops will represent mm. different types of infantry yeah. as well. Yeah. That's a good idea. That's yeah, brilliant. Um, the only issue was that this was built, again, was built in 8th edition rules. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, I had special weapon squads of Van Zars. Unfortunately, they're no longer existing. I had conscript squads. They don't no longer existing. The, yeah. the Eshers were hardened veterans. They no longer exist. Mm. So it had to be copped a little bit. But mm -hmm. going back to the army. Yep. So in the squad in Death Corps Krieg, we have a sergeant with a bolt gun and power weapon. We also have a sergeant with a uh, last pistol and chainsword. We have a plasma gun. We have a grenade launcher. We have a melt gun. And we have a medic. Yep. And then the rest is as is. Yep. And the only... Un-storylined relation, we have some Gaunt's ghosts. Right, oh yes, yes, they are. <laughs> ah. 
the way I like to view it is they are technically legendary warriors of, of the force. Mm-hmm. Um, there are two enhancements in the army. Yep. Um, the uh, Commissar slash Temis Scion uh, command has grand strategist. Yep. So he can give out two orders, which is nice when he's running around his commander. Yep. And the platoon commander has the death mask. Death mask around us. Mm-hmm. So even if we are bat- battle shocked, we still have an a- OC of one. Okay. Oh, right. That's good. Technically an OC of one because the platoon standard gives us a plus one OC as well. So technically yeah. we have an OC of two. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and that is that, that uh, is Gaunt's nice. Ghost al- although if you want to explain Gaunt's Ghost a little bit more Gaunt's Ghost have a range of weaponry uh-huh. you have Try Again Brag with his auto cannon yeah you have Larkin with his hotshot uh, laser rifle yeah you have a hotshot oh sorry hotshot sniper sorry I apologise yeah Corbeck has a hotshot laser rifle yeah or laser carbine sorry because they're assault they're assault weapons technically mm. and also Gaunt himself yep can give out two orders. Brilliant. Um, they are lone operative. Yeah. They can infiltrate if you wish. Yeah. And they also can do what they classify as up and downing. Right. So you can remove them. Mm-hmm. You know, and apparently they fight first. Mm. Which is something I never realised until I looked up their rules. Mm. So I'm a bit of a weird guy. I mean, today I actually want to get stuck in. But look at the <laughs> amount of stuff, the amount of infantry here. <gasps> There is a reason why I have movement trees. Yes. <laughs> yes, I can understand why. So 2,000 points on the nose. 2,000 points on the nose. So there you go. That's the force, the militia. Militia. Well done. As our ancestors say, uh-huh. do not fear in the affairs of dragons, for you are crunchy and tasty with ketchup. We are the dragons today. You are meddling in our affairs. <laughs> <laughs> right, such fighting talk. This must end. Right, let's check out scenario and deployment. So to determine the scenario and deployment, we couldn't get the Pariah Nexus cards, unfortunately. Uh, so we've got a very special Apache's uh, table, what's it called again? Tabletop Battles. Tabletop Battles. So we're using that system uh, to calculate our points. Thank you, like Goonhammer. That. Yes, thank you, Goonhammer. <laughs> yes, big shout out to Goonhammer. Brilliant app, highly recommend it. I've uh, been using it actually throughout the Phoenix Lords tournament. It's really, really good stuff. So free advertisement there, and he deserves it. a lot of hard work. Uh, put into that app to make your games of Warhammer 40k very easy. Uh, so uh, the mission was supply drop. Yep. And the it's an unusual way of d- doing a deployment. So it's full, uh, 14 inches out and eight inches along. So it's a staggered uh, deployment zone. It's the same over here as well. We have five objectives, one over there. One over here, one in the centre, one over there, and another one over here. Uh, I'm using the old JB Wargamer 87 objective markers. Why not get them out? I'll need to do my new channel logo ones. So uh, keep an eye on that in the near future. And also, clarification of terrain. So we have line of sight blocking. Line of sight blocking. That's all line of sight blocking. The ruins are, just to keep it uh, simple... If you're in the uh, ruins and jungle, you get the benefits of the traits for the particular um, cover, types of cover. So jungles would be minus one to hit, etc. Yep. Uh, ruins, you get plus one to your uh, uh-huh. cover, etc. Very, very simple. Uh, trying to do a lot of line of sight blocking whenever I can. I can understand people in the comments saying, oh, there's no rares of the line of sight blocking terrain. I, I totally get that. I totally understand. But... We're fun players, yeah. and you have to remember that it's not always uh, competition. competition. It's fun. It's narrative. And that's the theme of the channel. But at the same time, we respect the rules as best as we can. So that's clarification of terrain and deployment and mission. Uh, so we've decided off camera that the militia will be the defenders, and they'll be deploying first. So uh, it's going to take some time. So what I'm going to do is going to force forward right away at the end of the deployment right we've done our deployment took a bit uh it was quicker than we expected actually just because the movement trace as paul said off camera it's very very true uh indeed so talking about uh the 18th cadian army group first so we have the vanquisher over here on the extreme right unit of uh mortars 
armoured sentinels, the Punisher, uh, Gatling cannon, and we have a Cadian shock trooper uh, force uh, over here, along with the uh, uh, Cadian command squad, the uh, field ordnance batteries, the exterminator, Lean Rust exterminator. We have the Rogal Dawn over here, along with the uh, Tech Priest engine seer. We have another bulk of 20. Uh, plus the command squad of Cadian infantrymen. And then we have a command tank with the demolisher cannon. And then over here on the extreme left, we have a unit of mortars. And then for Paul David Gray, how have you deployed your militia? So coming from this side here, yeah. we have a hellhound on the extreme left. Yeah. On my left, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a, a Torox with Katashian general fighters in. Yeah. Uh, and you've got to realise that this sort of army is a lot of gangs and civilians. So yes. one gang leader with their, their posses here uh, with with an enforcer group. Mm -hmm. And also another Torox with another another gang inside. Yep. And also some Rapier destroyers here. Mm -hmm. So the 20 Death Corps Creed, Command Squad, Rapiers, Arbites. Yep. Another Death Corps Creed group in there. Yep. Nothing in the bushes. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, too dense. Well... You say that, one, one second. Yeah. Uh, then we've got the, the, the citizens, the 20 uh, Canadian shock troops with a Castellan. Yep. Army commander inside here. Yep. Um, with his party. Two buggies. Yep. Bulgrins in front. Yep. They want to get stuck in. Yeah, I'm sure they will. Um, Gorn's ghosts in the building. Yeah. Rapiers on top of the building. Okay. They got airlifted in. They did. Cheers. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, it also explains the it reserves does. as well. It does. Um, Mr. Gabaldi and his party are in these bushes here mm -hmm. with the hellhounds on the extreme right. Brilliant. And there you go. That's the units that are deployed on the battlefield. And we'll talk about reserves next. Reserves for the 18th Canadian Army Group. We have the Castellan, the Kasakin stormtroopers that are uh, transported uh, in the Chimera. And for the Renegade Militia. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I so, thought that will trigger you. So on the on the left hand side you've got the Death Corps in the Torox, you've yep. got the Katashian Jungle Fires in Torox, yep. and you've got the commander and his party in the Chimera. Yep. On on the right you have Scions, Scions, Scions with the um, Mr. Murphy. Yep. And they're they're all in deep strike. They're all in deep strike. Yep. Okay. And is that it? That's it. That's it. Okay, that's the reserves for the militia. Right. That's the units and armies deployed. It is initiative time. I have here my glorious Astra Militarum dice. And you have... Happy gas masks. A happy gas masks, <laughs> which are the uh, Death Corps Krieg. So here we oh, go. Sorry, still leading, but, yeah. yeah. <laughs> See how it goes. A two. Ooh. A oh. one. Oh, dear. Oh. <laughs> well, we have to go first. So it's the glorious Astra. I did not expect to win that. But there you go. So uh, the initiative is for the glorious 18th Canadian Army Group. Murderers! Murderers! <laughs> Whatever. Well, we don't care. We've got them for his orders to do. So uh, it is turn one, battle round one for the... So what we're going to do is we're going to clarify it as we're both Astra Militarum, but we're going to do... Militia. The, the Militia. Cadians. We do the Cadians. So we do uh, Army Group. Uh, just for purposes uh, of ease. So there you go. So, turn one for the glorious 18th Cadian Army Group. Movement phase coming right up. And command phase. Turn one for the Cadians. 18th Cadian Army Group. They have selected area denial. And recover assets. And recover assets. Yeah. So uh, those are the two secondary missions for the Cadians. Mortars are going to commence firing. I'm going to shoot into that blob of infantry over there. So it is uh, nine plus four. So yeah, so that is nine plus four is uh, uh, per plus four per per. Because you've got more, three mortars. Yes. So uh, that's plus twelve. That's plus twelve. So, so twelve want... plus yeah twenty. No, yeah. Okay. So twenty one shots coming in. Ooh. Twenty one shots. That's a lot. Uh, into the unit over there. So hitting on fives because that line of sight. Yes. Against infantry models, it's sixes are lethal hits as well. Our line of sight um, in the uh, command rules, it actually yes, says... It's, yeah, it's FAQ'd for that. Yeah. That's fine. So it's, so it's fives and sixes. So you yeah. have to have line of sight to that. Thank yeah. you very much. 
That's another, just double checking, yep, another two. Yep, that's been a fake cube now, which is which makes sense. Uh, strength is five. Strength, well, it's four, but it's up to three. Oh, no, it's up to strength now. Really? Strength five, yeah, more are quite good. I'll double check, but... Uh, so, uh, threes to wound. That's only two wounds, though, at no AP. So here we go. Both saved. Both saved. Oh, we got another one. Sorry. We got another save. And he saved that one as well. Well done. Oh, no damage from the mortars. <laughs> the Inrust Exterminator is going to shoot all of its weapons into the Rapier Laser Destroyers. Uh, I know how deadly they are, even though we haven't quite possessed them yet. <laughs> so um, it is hitting on... Uh, is it heavy weapon? No, it's not. No, so it's hitting on fours. Uh, so it's three hits. And also you moved as well. And I moved as well. So three hits. Uh, is that a vehicle? No, they're not. They're infantry. They're infantry. Okay, so three hits just... This is strength is nine. Toughness of four. So twos. And that is a triple one. But the R2 I believe. Thank the Emperor that uh, is twin linked. Double check on your profile quickly, sorry. Yeah, yourself. twin linked. Um <laughs> it's, it's twin linked. <laughs> <laughs> Twos. Uh one's failed. And I cannot re-roll, re-roll. So yeah. that is AP minus of one. So you do get cover. And three I should make it. No, because you're minus one. It's four plus normally. Yes. So, free damage. That's... A rapier gone. Actually, I'll take the one on the back. Okay. <laughs> so that's that there. And then we've got a last cannon. Uh, it misses. Okay, so anything targeting the rapiers from now on, they'll get a further AP minus one over there. Right, so the uh, tank commander, he's going to fire the multi melters into the infantry because there's nothing things that are in range. The demolisher cannon is going to hit into the ogrins, and then the last cannon is going to try and hit the buggy. So the last cannon first into yep. the buggy. Uh, I'm going to hold my patrons on standby. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. We'll use a we'll use a patron up. Chris Kamiski, Bronze Star member of the Army Group. So this is his shooting here. So hitting on uh, fours with the last cannon. And two's a miss, so the buggy lives. <laughs> and then the uh, demolisher cannon, which is D6 plus three shots. Do you want to... Mm. I was going to say, do you want to commit Comiskey to the entire batch? Oh, the, the entire batch. That's his roll. Fair enough. So six shots, hitting on fours. Yes. So that is four hits yep. at strength 14. Oh, that's a me too. Two so <laughs> wounds. All wounded, AP minus three. They have four plus in vulnerable saves. Okay. They have, they have the, uh, that, that shield. Yep. Uh, one moment. He is just checking the stats. So four, so four plus in vulnerable saves. Four plus in vulnerable. Well. Well, okay. Um, <laughs> okay. No damage. Next up is the, the multi- The fields have flickered. Yeah. The, <laughs> the multi melters. Ah, angry. Hit on fives. Hit on fives, because they're jungle fighters, and that definitely paid off. So no damage from the tank commander. How interesting. Ah, I see the way. Robo Dawn is going to shoot with the stubbers, all of them, into uh, the jungle fighters. The twin battle can is going to shoot into the rapier laser battery. The cascator is out of range, and that's it. And the multi melters are out of range as well. <laughs> yes. So here we go. So hitting on uh, fives. Oh, because they're in the jungle. Yep. Yeah. Oh, actually, did you get the did you get the rogue one take aim? Uh, yes, I did. So, so four. it's fours. Yes, I did. So five hits. It's not um, lethal hits because it's against infantry yeah. vehicles. Uh, that's four wounds at no AP, but you do get uh, cover. no cover. Oh. oh yeah, you will get cover. Yeah. You'll be covered. We'll count as cover. Oh. So two have been tipped. No, one. One. One plus the same normally. Ah. <laughs> so they got plus one armor save. We've been in cover. Been oh, yeah, you're in cover. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yeah. Of course you do. What <laughs> am I talking about? Being silly. <laughs> it's very confusing. So uh, next up is the twin battle cannon. 
Let's try this beast out. So here we go. So it's D6 plus three. So three, so six shots. And you have to take aim, so hitting on threes. And good job, it's uh, take aim. Strength 10. Toughest four twos. Four twos. Uh, all wounded. Now it's a further AP minus because of the exterminator. Yeah, so it's minus one normally or minus two normally? Uh, it is minus one normally. But so it's minus, minus one two. normally, I'm in cover. You're in cover. Plus the minus one normally, so yeah. five. Five to save. Nope. And that's three damage pop. Goodbye. They are gone. <laughs> oh, I feel awful. <laughs> oh, that's nasty. And the friend being Paul David Gray. He's right here in the studio. Roll once! <laughs> <laughs> so this is your moment of glory, Paul. So it is uh, 2d6 plus 8. Yes! Okay. Because there's a lot of... <laughs> Let's get the glory dice just to wind him up. <laughs> <laughs> that is 10 plus 8 is 18. Yeah. Right, field ordnance guns. Uh, they get heavy. Yep. They're on the influence of an order, yep. but minus one for line, out of line of sight. Yep. Um, against infantry models, I don't get lethal hits because I'm out of line of sight. Exactly. And, but I do get sustained, yes. however, because I'm under the influence of an order. Yes. So here we go. Hitting on fours. <laughs> two to wound. <laughs> All but two. That's AP minus one as well. Each does two damage. Each does two damage. So, yep. that, how many was the wounds? There was uh, five, eight saves to make of AP minus one. So plus you one will get cover. cover. Yeah. Because of indirect. Yep. So I'm back on fives. Yep. That's three saves. Three saves. And five have been slain. Wait. Ah. So there's also a medic in that squad. Ah, medic. There's oh, medic so in do... the command squad. There's a medic in the command squad and there's also a medic in the squad. So you do two... six plus two in my paint. Oh so it's two damage a pop. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll all five. Yeah. If I roll, if I roll six, I'll roll another dice. That's fine. Yeah. No. Nope. Okay. Good. <laughs> and that's a tray gun. Ah, okay. That <laughs> saves a lot of time. <laughs> that's field ordnance guns done. Yeah. Eight las guns are in range and have line of sight into the uh, subjugators. The subjugators, the police. Or subjugators. <laughs> and a plasma gun, not supercharging. So we're gonna do the plasma gun now. Yep. Uh, six is a lethal hit. Four plus invulnerable. Four plus invulnerable. No. Kills one. Yes. Oh. Actually, I'm going to take that from the doggy. Because they get a side max as well. Yeah. Here we go. So, last gun. That's two lethals. Yep. And one more wound. One more wound. No AP. Okay. I will double check that this that save. That's all right. Let's <laughs> just double check it. They actually have a three plus armor save. And they are fine. Armour holds, good shooting. Uh, good uh, armour saves. Next up is the Punisher Gatling Cannon. <laughs> the heavy bolt is going to shoot into the rapiers. He spent a command point to go, go to, to ground. ground. So it's a further minus one to hit. Oh no, it's pl no, it's plus one to your save and throw. It's plus one save throw and they get six plus um, in Six plus in one. Yep. Yeah. And uh, the Punisher Gatling Cannon is going to shoot into the subjugators. Yep. Yeah. So we're going to do heavy bolters first. Uh, hitting on fours. Sixes are sustained, so I'll refund those misses. And that becomes a six, and you take away one of those dice. Strength is five. That's cool. So three to wound. And that is all but one. So can you please make seven saves of four plus? Yep. Apparently not. And apparently Goodbye. two damage. They're gone already. Well, that's one dead, two dead, three dead. Oh. I know you guys mind tank. <laughs> now, I want, to, I want to see this. Okay, it's a legendary unit. Right. I want to see what the stat profile would have been for this, because this is a legendary unit. I want to see how it fires. Right. Because it looks fun. So, here we go. Because you've got to show off your, your firepower. I mean, it's not... So this is where... This, this is, is a what if. It's, what if it's a, these are forge world units, they're not legendary units yet. Yeah. Yep. Optic world being. Yeah. So they're heavy twin links, and they would have got an order from the commander. Okay. Yeah. So they would hit on twos. Uh, hit on threes, sorry. Yeah. Uh, so they're two, two, um, two dice each. Yeah. Because I stood still, it, they count as lethal. 
Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Because uh, I still, and they're under an order. Yeah. But they're also simple. Mm. So, rolling to hit, unfortunately, that's three misses. Yeah. Strength 12, toughness of 12 for Liam? Yes, uh, Liam Russ's toughness 12. So, yeah. fours? Fours. Twin linked. Twin linked. Mm, there okay. You go. Um, AP minus. AP minus two. Okay. And they're D6 plus one each. Okay. So four up armor. No, comes through. D6 plus one each. Would be nine. Nine damage, yeah. They're nasty. They're 30 points a pop. Yeah. 30 points a pop. Yeah. Yeah. So, you've got, so, the, so the guns are 90 points for a squadron. Yeah. Oh, brilliant unit. Yeah. That's inspired me to paint them. I think they just look so cool. They are, they are they're awesome. Such a cool unit. Yeah. But I mean, they yeah. are flimsy as hell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that's it. So unfortunately, the rapiers have been removed. It's just the brutality of the game. Yeah. It's welcome to Wyman 40k. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to the guard, son. Welcome to the guard. <laughs> so now it is the Punisher Gatling Cannon into the Subjugators. Punisher Gatling Cannon into the Subjugator. Hitting on force. Dude, I just realised how many fives there were. It's ridiculous. It's like two, and the rest of them are all fives. That's just really random. Well, there you go. I can't stop laughing. How did I do that? That's, that's like a once in a lifetime roll. And you've just lost a dice in the process. I've just lost a dice in the process. I'll get that back later. So I just refunded the dice from the miss pile. Uh, so strength six. Now, against infantry models, I get devastating wounds. <sighs> so that's three devastating wounds, and it's strength six, so wounding on twos. And so... Actually, I think that's wounding on threes. Oh, they T4. They're, T4. they're toughest four. Okay, yeah. take that back. So it's uh, threes to wound. Uh, no, I apologise. Yeah, oh, three. they go back. So, um, sorry, my apologies. That's fine. Um, so that's how many saves is that? So, three go through. Yep, and that's another. There's no AP on this weapon, by the way. So that's another seven. Yeah, another seven saves to make. So, freeze. So, riot shields, hold. <laughs> riot shields, don't hold. <laughs> okay. That's that. Five dead. Five dead, just like that. <laughs> so it's T eight. I'm only strength nine, but still managed to wound on a four. Uh, so it's eight minus two. So five. No, so there's two D six damage. Unless you want a CP reroll. No, oh, I've got, no, got no command on it. So two um, D six damage. And that's ten damage. <sighs> Is it gone? Pop. Pop. Does it detonate? Deadly demise. It almost was deadly demise. <laughs> and the occupants inside take mortal wounds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Do we get out? Uh, one no, doesn't. One doesn't. And that's it. And any medics or anything like that? In the, uh, the medics are deathcore creeds where they put back. Okay, that's fine. So uh, we'll place the unit back there. And uh, that's a uh, Torox destroyed. Mortars. So the Sentinel, you imagine the commander from the Sentinel, like, we're just taking out the uh, Torox. How are you going to take out the men inside? <laughs> show the shells! Show them as they, them as they go. <laughs> So it's 2d6 plus... Plus one. Plus one. Each. <laughs> 12, 14. Uh, 17. 17 shots coming in hot. Right, here we go. So mortars, uh, 17 shots hitting on... Fours fives. minus one. No, fives normally. Fives normally. Five normally. Uh, but I stood still. You stood still for heavy. Heavy. Minus one, minus for, one for out of yeah. sight. And six is not lethal because it's out of sight. Yes. Ah, it's a shame because there's a few sixes there. And actually, that's not the best. Oh. So only four hit. Hey. Uh, strength five, threes. But they've all wounded though. Uh, AP minus nothing. So, is that, is that overall? That's overall, yeah, just, yeah, yeah you got cool. your armor safe. you got your cover as well. So, that's two dead. Two dead. I'm going to take you, I'm going to take you. Okay. And the last of all, the Vanquisher tank is going to try and shoot at the Hellhound. Hmm. Right, I've never fired a Vanquisher cannon in temp. Let's get the stats card out now. Yeah, it freezes still. I mean, out in yeah. open. Yep. Yeah. Right. I'm going to dedicate this to Archie Edmonds 
there will be a new uh, Patreon <laughs> Hall of Fame uh, <laughs> card soon. So Archie Edmonds is going to fire the Laz Cannon first. Oh, we're not going to go for the big gun first? Not yet. Right, okay. The best for last. So uh, hitting on uh, four plus. Yep. Which is a lethal hit. <clears throat> and that's AP minus three. Fives, because hell hands have two plus arms. Okay. Nope. Nope. So that's D6 plus one damage. Uh -oh. <laughs> so that's three damage. Uh, I'm down to, I believe, eight. Do I spend a CP to... You have the Vanquisher still. I do have the Vanquisher, but what <laughs> if? No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save the glory for the, for the gunner. Right. Okay, I'm going to save my CP reroll. If it misses. So Vanquisher Cannon, hitting on a 3+. Yep. 6 is lethal. That's a lethal hit! Oh no. Uh, it's AP minus 4. So I get a 6+. Plus. Yes. <laughs> almost. Almost. It's D6 plus 6 damage. No offence, but I hope you roll one. <laughs> <laughs> I like some, some army left. No, Four. that's gone. And that's, there's nothing nearby. That's 10. And it's destroyed. One shot, one kill. Nasty. Vanquisher. Mm. Quite respectful there. It's not quite as good as the hammerhead, but still, it's quite potent. There with the uh, anti tank weapon, they're to be feared again. So, um, there you go. I'm, I'm, I'm noticing a rapid uh, decimation of my force here. <laughs> I feel awful. <laughs> That's fine. I feel awful. To be fair, Absolute remember what happened, to, what happened uh, when we played last time around? I, yes. I'm expecting it to back. <laughs> yes, yes. Vengeance for our fallen brethren from last time. <laughs> uh, your fallen brethren were tyrannies. Yes, that's right. It was tyrannies, wasn't it? It was. <laughs> Do check out that battle report on the playlist uh, if you haven't watched that game yet. So that's all. We'll be back in ninth edition. It was the last uh, game of ninth. The last game of ninth. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Well, yes, the last. It was. it was the last. So uh, there you go. So uh, that's the end of the turn. We're going to calculate uh, secondary victory points next. So we calculated victory points. Uh, the Cadians have secured five victory points for yeah. area denial. We've done that. And we've dumped the other card, which was recover assets. recover assets. So that's completed there. So that's the end of the turn for the Cadians. We're going to go straight on to uh, turn one for the militia. Uh, so for the red squad? Yeah, this is for the medics because the yes. uh, Cadians. So two of them no, come back. Def sorry, Def Corp Crees. Sorry. Uh, so two of the... Red Squad uh, come back. Guardsmen have come back. And for the yellow squad, which the is this squad, squad right here. here. Oh, they get three. three. Wow, the medic has done a great job. So what I'm going to do is so, uh, they get patched up. And then put these guys on the base. That's the command squad. Yep. <laughs> and that's it. So there you go. So um, that's the beginning there. Now, I've got three command points. You've I'm got one. You've got one. Uh, your objectives were... <laughs> Mark to death and cull the horde. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what we're going to do now is going to fast forward uh, to the end of the command phase and movement phase. So there you go. Okay, orders. Orders. So both the Taurus Venators from the command party in here yep. are getting take home because yep. they are one per, per unit, not, not a squadron. Yep. Uh, the guys that are here yep. are going to do front row plastic rank part. Yep. Uh, the guys that are here are doing move and move. Yep. And that, oh, and Harker's unit down here. Yep. Are going to do, ooh, I think we're going to take aim with them. Okay. So I think I can see, see the back of the cave as well. Yeah, you can shoot through <laughs> the guys that are in line. Yeah. So, yeah, I tried to, I couldn't fit quite yeah. fit all of them. So you'll be able to shoot. Awesome. All right, that's it. So that's the end of the command phase. Straight on to the movement phase next for yep. the militia on turn one. Just doing some overwatch here with the Punisher Gatling Cannon into your difficult creed. Yep, yeah, into another difficult wall. So the heavy bolt is first. So that's sustained and two lethals. So. And strength is five. And that's another wound at AP minus one. So do I, would I get cover for that technically? Uh, you or? will get cover. Yeah. yeah. So fours, no fives. No, nope, that's three dead. So that's three dead. And then the Punisher Gatling Cannon with 20 shots. End of the movement phase for the militia on turn one. Paul, tell us, what have you done? So, a little bit of, a, little bit of an answer uh, first, because the Gaunt's Ghost ability is actually at the end of your turn. 
Right. I didn't realise that. I thought it was actually in my turn because that's what it used to be. Yeah. Okay. So I have picked them up and I'll put them down. That's and fine. We'll cover that in a second. Yeah. Um, at the moment, it's basically I, if I start if I stay at long range, I'm not going to survive. So I mm. want to get close to you. Close and personal. Exactly that. <laughs> so the hellhound here advanced just to try and get behind the building here. Yep. The jump has have broken cover to see if I can uh, kick off some some of the uh, unit here. Mm -hmm. The ball grins advance and the little mobile uh, mining commission have, have moved up. Mm -hmm. These guys have moved up and also got line of sight into that one dude there. Yep. Uh, gods it's have... for the sake of victory points. Exactly that. That's why we've done it. Um, these guys have appeared in the terrain as well, mm -hmm. just on the edge of it. Yeah. The sub also advance advanced into the terrain piece as well. Yeah. These guys are going to stay hang back here. This is their turf. They're going to stay on their turf. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas the uh, Torox of the Escherin have done a sneaky motion. They have indeed. So the Torox have got here. The wild women. The, these ladies are actually in these trees. This is a lot, lot difficult to try and put them in at the moment. Yeah. Uh, but the ladies at the front are... So the ladies at the front are going in flame range of the mortars. Yes. Ambush. <laughs> no dear. Trying to get rid of some, some of that mortar fire. Yeah. And I think that is... That is literally it, because I've trip. lost quite a lot of my force in the last Yes, turn. it's quite brutal. Brutal, um, brutal stuff. But I have got some reserves coming as well. I've got about... Yeah. Looking at about 250 points of reserve. Okay. That's about one-sixth of your force, possibly. One-eighth. One-eighth, yes. <laughs> uh, I'll take that back. Basic <laughs> math. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so that's the end of your mint phase. It is indeed. We're going to go straight onto the shooting phase. I am next. indeed. Um, so this infantry squad here is going to shoot into the Cadian shock troopers. Now, I could double checking. Are there any? How many of those models are actually on, touching the hard edge on the? Edge um, the there are three that are touching. So I can still. I've got quite a bit of line of sight. Okay, cool. Yep. Now I will spend a CP to go to ground. No surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so get there. I'll tell you what I've noticed whilst you're doing that, yep. I've noticed that we've been doing using the app and it's sped the game up a lot quicker. A, a little bit now that we yeah. actually we've got access also to the rules as well. Rule, access to the rules. Basic tournament based rules. Yeah. Really, really good. N now that you have got three medals there, all the squads in line of sight. So awesome. Yeah. Uh so that's gonna be I've got two drum fed auto guns. I've got a lot of, lot of sh those guns, well, those guns. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I'll confirm back to you with stats in a second. Yeah. So and one grenade launcher. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to spend a command point, and that will bring my command tally down to... One. One. Okay, so we're going to do the grenade launcher first. Yep. Which is D6 plus 5. They're basically going to shoot into the Cadian yeah. commands, uh, command unit, ignoring yeah. modifiers because yeah. of the... Uh, Commander rules. Yep. And also I get sustained fire. You do. Because I got slips because then. Yes. <laughs> Lethal's hitting me. So five. Yep. Plus five, so it's ten. Ten. Ouch. So lethal and sustained. Yes. So fours. Put them up here. So that's one lethal, one sustained. Yep. The misses are there. Yep. Strength. Four. So that'll be threes. threes. So three. So fours. Four to save. Yep. Three no cover. Uh, there's three saves, sorry. Because there's one lethal as well. Oh, yeah. No. So three are dead. Oh, few no pain. I was going to say, you have Nick. Sixes. Sixes. Save one. So guardsman's been killed. So I'm going to take off that one and take off that one. And now 36 last gunshots. Okay. Hitting on threes. Because we'll take aim, because we'll be caught. Yeah. So, they're lethal. Yep. Take out those. Yep. Put those three back in, because they're stained as well, because of the stem. Yep. So that's, this is the first round of, of it, by the way. Yeah. Because that, there's 36, I'm not wrong, 36 nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want fours? We want fours. Okay. So that's nine. Nine. Saves or fours? Fours. Nine saves, a four plus, because I go to ground. Ooh. That's pretty good. Wow. Wow. Only one. And feel no pain? And feel no pain. If I had a six, this is an insult. Mm. No. Well, well so, that, that was the uh, first wave. That was the first wave. 
Oh yeah, sorry, just off, off camera. So a few uh, leaf falls as well. Yep, so that was those. So three go back in. Warming on four. There's a lot of dice. <laughs> the thing's going everywhere. That's those, those, and those. So that is six, nine, twelve. Twelve. Mm. Mm, okay, received a few. Feel no pains. Yep. The sixes. So none. So another five has been uh, yep. removed as casual. Gaunt's unit is going to shoot at the cadence that have been severely damaged. And one of them's a precision hit. Larkin's long that. Yes. Hits on twos. Yeah. Here we go. That's hit. Hit. Yeah. Um I I have a strength of five. T3. T3, so freeze. It's that really wounds. Nice. Minus two for damage. <laughs> Five up in one. So you targeted the targeting commander. Officer, yeah. Oh, give me a Patreon. <laughs> give me a Patreon. Give me... Nate Miller. Um, obviously, obviously it's got, it's Silver got Star member. Come on, Nate. Five or a six. Give me glory. Yes! He's lived. He's lived. <laughs> it's really right? That's, yeah, well, it's worth a try. <laughs> um, <sighs> that was close. That was close. <laughs> right, so. <laughs> Ron's last carbine yeah. is three shots with sustained hits. Right. Okay. So that's a stain. Yeah. And then I get McColl's Laz Carbine, which is the same stat line anyway, but yep. that's stained. So, all hits and twos as well. Yeah. So that's seven hits, strength yep. of three. Yeah, fours. Mm, two. Only two. Okay, no, no thing. Four up, because I've gone to ground. Yeah. Save none, feel no pain. Feel no pain. You feel pain. I do, yeah. Two more <laughs> guardsmen are gone. Uh, uh, it's going to have to be another... Oh, Harrison Leach is gone. And... I'm going to have to take off a Vox Caster. Yeah, yeah take off a Vox Caster. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to keep him and take him off. So Corbex hotshot laser rifle, hotshot laser carbine. Yeah. Hits on twos because of take aim. All three hit. Yeah. Wound on fours because it's just still shed free. That's one at minus one normally. Or minus one normally, so fives. Two. One damage. Fill the paint. Saved. Medic holds. Drags auto cannon. Yeah. Hits on fours because he doesn't. He doesn't shoot well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's still three hits. Yeah. Two swings because it's just nine. Yeah. That's minus one normally, so you can work with seven fives. Yep. Saved one damage. Three damage each. So feel no pain. Uh, nope. That. And feel no pain. Almost. We <laughs> <laughs> just did an auto cannon here. <laughs> um. Okay. I'm going to take off. Mm, this is a difficult choice here. I'm going to take off the sergeant. And. This is tough, man. <laughs> this is tough. Take off Voxcaster. And also, and of course, Gaunt's ball pistol. Yep. One shot. Hits. Hits. Uh, freeze to wound. Freeze to wound. Wounds. Wounds. No AP. Five holds. Same. Okay. Uh, number of casualties I have. Not a lot less. Uh, Fifteen casualties. So. Uh, yeah, that's a lot of damage. Oh no, Sergeant Harker. So, so Mr. Gavaldi over on the side. Yeah. He's going to also fire into the Cadians. 
Leave that unit alone. I've got Cole the Horde. <laughs> <laughs> Kill the unit, man. Kill the unit. Yeah. So, payback time. Yes. Once per battle, when this unit is this mod is so, next to shoot, it can use this ability. If it does, until the end of phase, its payback weapon, the Head Volta, has a tax characteristic of six instead of three, and has the same hits three instead of one. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> that is just brutal. Hit and freeze. Yes. Strength five. Even minus one. Two damage. Yeah. Okay. So, Payback indeed. That's the best heavy bolter I've ever heard. It's only, it's only once per gun. Oh yeah, one per gun. Yeah. So six sixes are lethals and stay free. One six. So. One six is lethal. Yeah. But that is two extra hits. Yeah. Strength of five. Freeze to wound. Ah. Oh, that's a whole load of ones and twos. That's a shame. So two wounds, minus one normally, so fives. Fives. I'll save on a double six. <laughs> and I've got <laughs> lethal as well. Are there leaf? Is that just two? Oh, that was two, yeah, that was just the two, yeah. Uh, the the <laughs> Katashan jungle fighters. <laughs> Uh, oh, that was a brilliant uh, profile, though. Professional fighters, uh, there's only two that are out of line of sight because of the building. Yep. But I've given front row five second rank fire. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. The two were Sergeant of Famer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so 14 shots. Yep. Three, six, seven, eight, 12, 14. Hits on threes. No, hits on fours. Okay. That's one lethal. Fours. Fours. It's number two. Number two. So three in total. Yep. Uh, AP minus. No, nothing. Nothing. Las guns. Uh, two failed. Yep. Six up through no pains. Yep. I need this. Nope. Number two down more. Down to 17. So down to down 17. So. Master Fox can go. Uh, that is from the character unit, by the way. I didn't know if, if it's a Master Fox. Oh, it's a Master Fox. No. If it's a Master Fox, it's from the character unit. So yeah. Oh, okay. Yes, yes, true. Um... Take that off. And you got one more. So. And who is that? That was Sergeant Cross as well. He's a bit cross now. He's very cross. Uh, I'm going to do it on the... Take on the plasma. Okay. Are they out of the ruin? They're out of the ruin right. now. Right, cool. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's the casual. Is there 17 casualties? Definitely a battle shock test. That's actually yeah. what I saved you as well, actually. I need to kill them. Yeah, so Laz guns are going to shoot over to the infantry over here. Yeah. The flamers and pistol shots are going to go into the mortars. And two las guns that are And in front. two las guns that are in the front. So uh, do five las guns into them first. Yeah, okay. <sighs> lethal though. Leaf, one lethal, one normal. Clap. And one in that wings as well. S one save for the pain. No, okay. So I'm going to take off the plasma. Everything else going to there. Yep. So pistol plus two las guns are firing into the mortars. Yep. Hit and freeze. Uh, and no. four lethals. Okay. <laughs> that happened. <laughs> that happened very quickly. Uh, I got mine cover. Yes, you have. Four ups. No, I take two wounds. And that's three two wounds. wounds. Three wounds. Yeah, so two wounds on this one and a wound on that one. Yep. So this them gone. Right, uh, flamers. D6 each. Ten, Ten also hitting flamers. Uh, ignoring cover as well. Exactly that. Yeah, that's what flamers are designed to do. Freeze. Freeze to boom, strength four. There's a few ones, but I think six. you're able to do enough. Six at minus one. Six at minus no, one. Six at six no AP, I apologise. It's all right. I'm thinking hope later. Uh, and they're cooked. They're cooked. They're gone. <sighs> Ambushed. Ouch. So that's the mortar unit destroyed. And any other shooting? Yes. Okay, we'll find out next. So, Chimera's going to shoot into the Demolisher. 
I will double check the range of some bits because yeah. obviously you do have two whole compartments to shoot. Indeed. Let's be swayed, the motor gun's out of range. <laughs> <laughs> I thought so. <laughs> uh, Let's just lob the melter gun at the tank. <laughs> no. Um, so I've got a plasma gun, I've got a ripper gun. Yep. So that can fire at top hatch. Mm -hmm. I've got las gun array, heavy stubber, multi laser. Yep. The works. The works. <laughs> All going to shoot into the that demolition. demolition tank. Starting with the ogre in first into yeah. the... Uh, tank commander. Now the tank commander, I spent a command point, so I've got no command points left. Uh, so I'm down to zero. zero. I spent three command points this you battle It's ridiculous. <laughs> and, and you say you're in militia. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right, so. Uh, so Ripper Gun normally hits on fours, hits yeah. on fives now. Uh, has sustained hits? Yes. Because it's a uh, Ripper Gun? Ripper Gun. Yeah. Uh, strength of 5 normally, minus 1 AP and 2 damage. T12. So, to hit. So that does hit, yep. no, no stained or lethals. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, strength of 5, so 6s. Nope. Bounces off. Uh, Laz Gun Array. I'm going to do Stormbolt at the same time. Yep. Oh, it's Heavy Stubble. Yeah. Oh, that's a fire range. Yeah, so you get extra shots. Might as well do it all together. Yeah. So. Sixes. Sixes. Two lethals. Yep. And some hits. In fact, one hit. One hit. There's not a four amongst them. <laughs> that does not win. So two saves time. of two plus. Yep. And I take a wound. So it's down to 12 wounds remaining. That's begun. Question. Are you going to supercharge? Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. That's a lethal. Because for that reason. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone is free. Yep. So down to a five up armor. Four up because of the um, smoke launcher. Because you get cover as well. No, no, it's minus one to hit with smoke. You get bounces cover as well. Sure. <laughs> the, I did not know that. <laughs> okay, so stealth, you get plus one to your... Plus, stealth is minus one to hit. Yeah. Benefit of cover is plus one to save. Right. <laughs> I've learned. Oh, I've learned. Uh, yeah, so so be four ups. Yeah. No. Two damage. Two damage. So down to uh, seven wounds remaining. But do I overcharge? Do, do I explode? You... Well, no. Do I... Does the vehicle take any damage because it's firing no. from the vehicle? <laughs> <laughs> the buggies are going to divert fire mm -hmm. to the exterminator. Ah, right. <laughs> I thought so. <laughs> so. I'm gonna do. I've got to do them one at a time because yeah. they are individual units. Mm -hmm. So HK on the first buggy. Yep. Lethal. <laughs> <laughs> Minus three. Minus three. Three no damage. D six damage. D six. That's four. Four. So it's down to nine wounds remaining. Yep. And a twin last gun. Yep. So I'll get a D ten. D um. Yeah. D ten. Some skills here with the phone. <laughs> hmm, try not to drop it. Yeah, I'll wait until you're So down to nine. Yeah, yeah, go on. Okay. So twin layers. Yes. Hits. So with these, they get, I mean, twin layers can anyway, but if yeah. it feels the HK as well, I get benefits of reroll to wound. Right. Regardless of things. Yeah. I reroll. Reroll to twin linked. Ah. That's a one. <laughs> so the other buggy. Other buggy. <laughs> HK. <laughs> you and your lethals today. Well, to be fair, uh, it's, it's about time. <laughs> five up. Come on. For the Emperor. Give me a Patron dice. Give me Kieran Dix. Bronze star member of the army group. Go for it. Five! He gets the five. That's why I should join. You get the glory like that. Not anything. Ah, okay. So well done. So uh, thank you, Kieran, for that help there. <laughs> And the exterminator is taking a little bit of damage, but it is still alive. And oh, any desperate infantry shooting here. All right, so what we're gonna do? Yep. We're gonna have five las guns into the Punisher. exterminator. The Punisher, sorry. Yep. The hip bolter is actually gonna go into the infantry. Okay. Yep. And uh, let's do that quickly. So heavy bolter. Heavy bolter. Nope. Missed. <laughs> <laughs> five las guns. Three hits. Three hits. Sixes. Uh, actually, sorry. They're under understanding strength. One wound. One wound. Two up. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, 
Ah, typical Lasgun shot. Fear the mighty Lasgun. Yeah, <laughs> it should say the same thing as well. <laughs> Right, oh. and then the last thing I think I can fire is the Torox here. Mm hmm. Which yeah. is going to go to the uh, Punisher. Okay. So, swing also cannon? Yeah. Actually, I'm going to double check that. Is this twin or is this two? Yeah, also cannon fires two shots. Yes, but I don't know if it's twin because they're technically got two. If it's, if, if I have it's oh, it twin. Oh, it counts as twin linked, I think. Yeah. It'll be rerolling wounds. Yeah, twin linked. Okay. Yeah. So that's a lethal. A lethal. Yeah, and a hit. Done. And a hit. That's, That's a wound. So two wounds, so AP minus one. Yep. So it becomes a free up armor. Yep. And each does, does three damage. Yes, indeed. Wow. <laughs> How many CP have I got? None. None. Oh, looks like six damage is coming through. You are, are you, the amount of CP you have is six oh. None. Ouch, <laughs> I'm down to six wounds remaining. And a heavy stubber. And a heavy stubber as well. It could be bracket. I know, well. Stormbolter, because it's the Torx. Yeah, Torox. I wish they still had any doubles because it makes sense for the army. Yeah. No, no we're at far range. Okay. One hit. One hit. <laughs> <laughs> Two up. Thank you. Right, okay, okay. I've got that armor save. Hilarious. <laughs> oh. Fixed bands. Was that an order? No, no, just same. Just in general. Just in general. Use the clubs. <laughs> get out the butt. Get the butt of the rifles. <laughs> so the three man death core unit. Yes. Is going to charge into the rest of what's left of your cadence. Give me the glory. <laughs> Come on. Do it. They're in. They're in. The roll of 11. <laughs> Hilarious. So there's going to be a close combat action there. Nah, for the <laughs> emperor. For the militia. <laughs> for the <new> Babylonia. <laughs> free. Three work attacks. Yep, three attacks with the chain sword. One attack each with the One other two. Each, the other two, and that's it. Hits on freeze because of her unsightly strength. <laughs> They're desperate. They all hit. They all hit. No lethals though. No it's lethals. Close combat. And they wound on freeze because I'm under half fighting strength. That is three wounds. Three wounds. No AP. Uh, uh, got a flak armor save of five plus. Yep. <laughs> Say none. Feel no pain. Oh, oh, I might get this here. You do. Got it. <laughs> so you're going to kill the Melter. The Melter. And that one of my dudes. Yeah, that should be the... That should be the yeah. Kane squad dead. Kane squad is dead. You got the points. Well done. And I'm going to take it on the... Master Vox... Yeah, no, 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 keep it there. Uh, I'm going to put it on the medic. Power Fist has three attacks for the commander. He's hitting on fours. One hit. Strength is uh, six. Four, that is a kill. Yes, Second minus two. Yep. It just goes. Now take a grenade on your glove. I've got a chain sword, the guardsman, yep. and and two other guardsmen. Uh, technically, you, you technically have two attacks each with Cadians, I think. <laughs> the bodyguard, no, it's, it just says here what they're equipped with. Oh, right, okay. So hmm. just close combat weapon is oh they get two attacks. Yeah, they do, don't they? Yes. Two attacks each. So yeah, because they're veterans, aren't they? Yep. Uh, so, two two. two, two, and then the chain sword. They three. get three, no, four attacks. Oh, wow. okay. Yes, the uh, sergeant. Wow, that's a lot of attacks actually. Ten on fours. Uh, wounding on fours. Yep. Guardsman killing guardsman. <laughs> no wounds, no damage. Okay, that's it. Right, so that's the end of the turn. We calculated victory points. Five victory points Yay! for <laughs> the militia. So the militia got the five victory points. And that, that is about it. Yep. So the score at the moment, at the end of battle round one, is five all, but plus ten for the painted armies. So it says 15 points to 15. So uh, that is the end 
of the battle round, we're going to go on to a new battle round. It is Astra Militarum Cadian's turn to battle round two. Battleshock test before we do anything. Uh, Punisher, which is below our strength. Our strength. Oh, they're fine. They don't care. Yeah, anything else is fine for you. Everything else is okay. So that's the end of Battleshock tests. Uh, I'm going to calculate next uh, orders under the command phase. Right, uh, at the beginning of the battle round, I've scored no primaries because you booted me off that objective. Yep, and it's only for, uh, it's no, only man's for no Man's Land objectives. Uh, the missions that I've got are... Overwhelming force, so basically get me off objectives. Yep. Oops. And <laughs> 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 defend your own objectives until, the, until your next turn. That's that one. So that is for a reason, for the, secondaries. The, having, having the, uh, yeah. the objectives in your own things... Yeah. Okay, secondaries, but for the primary, not needed. Yeah, not needed. That's it. So um, that's for the missions. And I've gained a command point. You've gained a command point. Yep. So you're back up to three. I am back up to three. Though. I am back up to one. So we're going to calculate next movement and command phase. Nothing like that. It'll be a summary in the next segment. End of the command phase and movement phase for the Cadians on yeah. turn two. Clarifying orders here. So the tank commander is issued to take aim to the Rogal Dawn. Yep. The command squad that's in close combat has issued an order to the artillery guns because of the Master Vox. Yeah, I was about to clarify as well because you did get to give the demolition tank uh, grand strategy, didn't you? Tank it's command. the tank commander. Yeah. yeah. Did you want to give uh, take aim to the exterminator as well? It oh, it hasn't got it hasn't got a hand stash. It's, it's the Castellan that's got. Ah, oh, I apologise. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Please yeah. Don't take one, no, no, no. Uh, it's just on the uh, Castellan. Uh, uh, that's all right. I thought your Castellan had. Um... Sorry, pause that, it's sorry. got um, drilled commander. I thought you gave that grand strategy. No, right, no, it's just a regular tank commander. My apologies. That's all right. Don't you worry, boy. Um, <laughs> we've got uh, the orders here. I've issued an order to the Sentinels. Yes, you did. To take aim. They stood still. Mm. Missile launchers are heavy. Yes, they are. Hitting on threes. Plus one for the order for take aim. Yes. Hitting on twos, including with blast. So I had I had thought that he's going to end up going to Death Core Creed, which, to be fair, you think, you're thinking about. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a command, in the same command phase, in your, sorry, your command phase, mm -hmm. the opponent's one. Yeah. There's a strategy that the guard have called Inspired Command. Yes. Which basically is that in the command phase, I can issue an order to a squad mm. uh, as I would do my, my my turn. So I've done take cover for my, or yeah, which is take cover, mm. uh, which is actually gives you plus one save. is isn't benefit of cover, it's plus one save. Yeah. So you can actually uh, combine that with go to ground if you so wish. Yeah. Which I may not target them, I may target something else. But it was so, it was the counter plan because in all fairness, where yeah. where are they going to aim? Where are they going to aim? <laughs> exactly, it may blast them to a smithereens, mm. which is actually one of the primary objectives to clear you off objectives. Anyway. That's true, but also so they are objectives. Well. They are an objective, but that's harder. I reckon they're easier to well, kill. Yeah, no. So mm -hmm. um, <laughs> as you can see here, yeah. it's um, <laughs> coming in for the kill. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, so that's the orders there. So the movement, the vanquishers moved forward to get into melter range against the uh, Torox. Slash heretic scum, uh, Gene Sealer culted vehicle. But the it is a mining vehicle. I know it's a cult. mining vehicle, but I can <laughs> think of Gene Sealer cults. To be fair, yes, I'll give you Then the crazy women with their hairstyles, when uh, they're going to. Um, the ladies are in a very bad place. Yes. <laughs> we're going to um, teach them a lesson. And then over here, yes, we've massed the tanks and just going to try and do as much uh, damage as possible against the infantry. The tech priest engine seer has moved forward uh, within three of any of these tanks that need repairing. This is a sticky objective because yeah. the unit that was over there, oh, uh, even yeah. though it's destroyed, it still counts as sticky. So even if I go off the objective, they'll still count as holding it. Yeah. The mortars have moved over to the left, seeing the threat from the hellhound on the, <laughs> their left. Uh, I don't want to get barbecued there. So what they've done is they, the tanks have formed a screen to prevent any line of sight if possible. So that is the end of the uh, movement phase and command phase. We're going to go straight into the shooting next on turn two, Cadence. The Vanquisher is going to shoot into your Tarox. We're going to fire the main cannon first. Of course. Um, 
just going to do no heroics. Yep. Just shoot away. It did move, so hitting on a four with the main cannon. Oh, cool. It missed. Oh, I'm not going to spend a CP. Okay. Um, uh, last cannon. So, last cannon. Well, last cannon. Uh, he misses. He does. Now four multi-melter shots. Mm. That's a lethal, because he gets hits. vehicle, and two hits. And uh, no wounds for strength, nine. Your T9? I'm T8. Your T8? I believe. I will double check that again. Oh. Multi-melter to strength, nine. This is where I'm actually hoping. I'm uh, unfortunate that they are is a um, god army, not a GC cop. Yes. <laughs> Torox is T. Toughness eight. Toughness eight. Okay, so three wounds come in at AP minus four. Oh dear. And <laughs> I need to double check this. If I'm within nine, that's armor bane. Uh -oh. Six plus 3d6 damage because of in armor bane because uh -oh. of the turret. Thank you, Long Barrel Vanquisher. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone. Does it detonate? I was, I was about to say, it's, I think it's compensating for something. But... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it does not detonate. It does not detonate. It has and been removed. removed as from the game. There you go. That's how to deal with that threat there. It's deleted everything so far, so mission accomplished there for the Vanquisher. Yeah, I am going to go take cover. You're going to take cover? Yeah. I thought you might. <laughs> okay, spending the command point to take cover. Right, it is 3d6 plus 6 shots. That there is um, 18 shots with the uh, missile launchers. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... 14. 14. But I have 3 plus save. <laughs> okay. 14. Yeah, because you're in cover. Yeah. Cover and then take cover as well. Yeah. Oh no, that gives the benefit cover. Doesn't matter. Either way. Yeah. Darn. <laughs> <laughs> Saves of 4 plus. Saves of 4 plus, indeed. Here we go. Uh, I would have liked that extra, extra plus one though. Okay, how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven wounds. Down to three. Down to three. Okay. They're gone. And next up. I'm going to do the Punisher into them. <laughs> and then I'm going to do. I'm going to do the heavy bolters. I'm going to make sure they die. Right. Yeah, I'm going to make sure they die. So all the heavy bolter shots are going to go into them. The Punisher is going to shoot into the unit there. Yeah, go for it. So. Heavy bolter. Yep. Uh, sixes are sustained. That they are. So. The one. Yeah, so that replaces with six. Take away the misses. Not great. Strength. Five. So freeze. Freeze. AP minus one. So back you to five. You will not get cover. Oh, you, are, you will I'll get cover. I'll take cover. Yeah, you will take cover. Uh, one's uh, alive. One's alive. Okay. <laughs> so that will be this lady here, yep. which is there. Yep. I may have to divert some shooting, which I can as well, because they have no line of sight. Oh, well, actually, you've got guys in the ruin, haven't you? So yep. I could target them. You might even be able to get ghosts now. Mm. But I've got a plan. Yep. Tactics. Right. Two plasma guns in 24. Not going to supercharge into there. The las guns that are in 12 of ghost gaunts. The ghost gaunt ghost. ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> got the wrong way around. I'm going to shoot into them. And the rest of the remaining LAS guns are going to shoot into that unit. Just the one unit, they can cast it off as well. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I just want to do some damage at least. Cool. Whenever possible. So I'm going to do the two plasma guns first. Not going to supercharge. Uh, there's no order for this unit because I diverted my command. Hitting on fours, sixes are really good because if I get a six, it'll be dead. No, because I've got to take cover. She's got to take cover, so she'll be a six plus save. <laughs> And they both missed. 
They both missed. It looks like I'm gonna have to charge with the Sentinels. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that was not according to plan. Um, next up is the las guns shooting into Gaunt. Uh, uh, Gaunt. This is into Gaunt, uh, uh, Gaunt's ghosts. Hitting on fives. Six is lethal. Uh, what? They are truly ghosts, aren't they? Only one hit. Wow. No wound as well. But I've got two melter guns. Mm, so on fives. No. Two dice add up to five instead. <laughs> they survive. <laughs> and that's the rest of the remaining lads guns are gonna shoot into the subjugator. Sixteen shots. Six to lethal. Yep. This is into the subjugators. Hitting on fours. One lethal so far. That's very good. That's six wounds, but you do get cover. I also only got three plus saves. I don't think I'll get cover better than that. Yeah, I can't get better than three no. plus. So, freeze. Ah. Ah. That happened. Two have been slain. Uh, the commander is out of range with his pistol. However, which reminds me, the commander that's in close combat and the uh, colour sergeant has got a pistol. So, the last pistol... He misses. The sergeant, uh, the uh, colonel with the uh, plasma pistol, not going to supercharge. Uh, two is a miss. <laughs> so uh, that's the end of that uh, close uh, shooting there. Uh, find out next. Mortars. Sixes. Sixes, yeah. Just realised. Uh, because. You've moved. I've moved and heavy. Yeah. So BS5 plus minus one. For out of sight, need sixes. Doesn't matter though, still gonna fire at them. Yeah. Uh, so that'll be 3d6 plus four each. Yep. So that there is eight. Plus 12, 20. Plus 12, 20 shots. So hitting on sixes, no lethals because I don't have line of sight. Oh, no, the FAQ. Uh, it's just three hits. Yep. Strength five. One wound. One wound. I get cover, so fours. That's a five. That's a five. He makes it. Well done. No damage. And then... We're going to find out what we're going to do Except next. Except making them death yeah. or creed and putting them as a seven. Yeah. Or not as a, as a marshal. They haven't got feel no pain. There's 20 models at least. Yeah. They have. So I'm going to target them. Yeah. 2d6 plus eight. Yeah. And with the order... Uh, Pretty yeah. nasty. <laughs> Is that 22 uh, two shots? Yeah. Wow. Uh, that's all them, plus two. Good grief. I'll double check. Five. 22 shots hitting on fours, because they take mm -hmm. aim. And yeah. heavy, but minus one for our right? Sixes are sustained, but not lethal. I'm beginning to like the exterminator. Yeah, I'm beginning to like it I too. wonder why it's called the exterminator now. So we look, we check the rule. It's not heavy. It's heavy four. Sorry, it's it's four shots. Yeah. Rapid fire. Four becomes eight within half range. Yep. <laughs> so the exterminator is going to shoot its primary weapon into the ogrens. The multi melters are going to shoot into one of the buggies. And the Laz can is going to shoot into the Chimera. So the exterminator, I'm going to check out the firepower of the exterminator here. Into the Ogrens. <laughs> That's pretty poor. It's only two hits. Oh, Strength nine. Nice, yeah. Only one wound. Ooh. One four up in one. And that's free damage. You can one save an Ogren. Does he want to? Right. <laughs> he does. No! So he's off camera. He's failed his command reroll, and uh, one of the Ogrins has been severely hit hard. Poor boy. Poor boy. But all took, uh, that was a poor shot, but still it managed to kill one. It's he pretty fought nasty. For freedom. He fought for freedom. The last cannon into the Chimera. <laughs> <laughs> Five's a hit. 
Uh, strength 12. A one is a failure. Indeed it is. Okay. Uh, next up is the multi melters into the buggy. Hitting on fours. That's two lethal hits. No, it's not. Hit. It's mounted. Mounted. Oh, right. <laughs> but still three hits then. Uh, strength nine. T6. T6. Freeze. Freeze. All wounded. AP minus four. That <laughs> comes straight through. So that's, uh, I'm going to double check to see if it's in armor bane. Not within armor bane, so just 3d6 damage. Where did you go? And go. <laughs> deadly demise. Ah. No deadly demise. Pop. Pop goes one of them. Yeah, the Pop goes the weasel. Next up is the. Uh, now, I caused an unsaved wound, so that'd be further AP minus, but you're just going to use your four up in bun anyway, so it doesn't matter. So, the Rogal Dawn is going to shoot the heavy stubbers yep. into that infantry squad over there. They are minus one to hit. They'll be on minus one to hit. Actually, I'm going to change my target. I'm going to shoot over to there. There? Yeah. And. Gonna shoot the twin battle cannon into the Chimera. Oh, okay. And the multi melters into the buggy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and the castigator Gatling cannon is going to shoot at the infantry over there. Oh, these ones? Yes. Nice. Right, so the castigator Gatling cannon has 12 shots. Now, Mr. Grey knows what a Rogal Dawn can do. Unfortunately, I don't normally use the uh, Cassie, I use the Pulverizer. Well, that's the beauty of magnetizing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, to be fair, I, I always find that the main gun should, should be the main gun and the, uh, the other gun should be point defense. True. <laughs> true, true, true. So we have the um, Cascade Gatling Cannon. Uh, so fours to hit, not lethals because it's infantry. Yeah. Which, um, thank goodness. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Strength is five. Sarkins are three. Three to wound. That is five saves with no AP. But that is three saves. Three save. Well done. So take three off there. Two days. Sorry, two saves. Yeah. Two, two, Sorry, beg your pardon. Yeah. Two, two saves. Dead. Yeah, two, two, two dead, three saves. I'm going to double check to see if rapid fire range is an inch away. From rapid fire. Uh, so it is three hits though. Strength four. One wound. No AP. Yep. And one armor. One armor. One armor save. No. Takes a wound. Oh, which way? This way? Oh, yeah. I'm not doing it over there. Yeah, they're too stealthy. Too stealthy. And then next up is the multi melters into the buggy. Yep. Four shots. That's a cock die. I'll re roll that. Yeah, please. That's a hit. Fair. Strength nine, T6. Oh dear. Three have failed. I'm going to leave that. The result. Yeah, he actually has, has the faith of the Emperor in him. Yeah. <laughs> you got a tank commander to come, by the way. Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> Twin battle cannon. So it's D6 plus three shots going to go into the Gamera. Yep, go for it. That's two plus three is five. Simple mess. Yep. Hitting on fours. Hitting on threes to the order. Oh, yes, of course. Not bad. And in fact, I should have done uh, plus one to hit with the uh, thingies, but... That it, was plus, it was plus one to win. You rolled one and two to win. Or should we hit the stubbers? It's to hit. Yeah, with the stubbers. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't matter. We're going to we'll keep the result as it is. Fair enough. Thank you. So, uh, hitting on... Uh, you're going to need it. <laughs> I know. So, hitting on freeze. Uh, four hits, because the order. Yep. Strip is ten. Toughness is... Nine. nine. Yes, it's nine. Yep. Freeze to wounds. Uh, uh, four wounds. AP minus of one. one. Yep. So four. Do you go for it? Six damage. Yeah, one, two, four, five. I will double check. Uh, Chimera has 11 wounds. Five. 
And then we've got the tank commander with the demolisher cannon. Demolisher cannon into the Ogrins, the multi melters into the buggy, and the last cannon into the buggy. Somebody someone now doesn't like the buggy. <laughs> I don't like him. A <laughs> last cannon into the buggy. He rolls a five. He rolls a wound again. It goes through. AP minus three. D6 plus how many wounds they got? <laughs> they got six wounds. Oh, six wounds. <laughs> So, uh, two damage. Count of four. <laughs> four multi melter shots. Uh, that's just one hit. And a three plus to wound. Five's a wound. Eight Goes minus through. four. Uh, D6 damage. I don't think I've been nine. No, it would be nine. One. Do I spend a CP reroll? He's on three wounds left. To kill it. Yes, spend that CP for me. Okay. <laughs> Engaging demolisher cannon. So it's D6 plus three shots. Yep. I'm gonna keep my Patreons on standby. I have not forgotten you. <laughs> Here we go. One plus three, so it's four shots. Okay. Hitting on one hit only. Strength is 14, so twos. That's a wound. You got your four up in bun. Passes. And it passes, okay. So that's the result stand. <sighs> it's a little bit disappointing over there, but uh, we'll keep that result as it stands. Charges to declare. <laughs> um, yes, we do have a charge to declare, which is going to be the Punisher tank. You're going to tank shock me off that objective, aren't Yeah. You? <laughs> Six inches. <laughs> we'll check. Charges. Yes, we're going to have to charge. Arcadia! You need a good roll. Seven inches. We'll check. Right, this is... Uh... I don't need to tank shock you. Because my OC is greater than you now. No, but you've got to kill me off the objective. I've got to kill you off the objective to That's get the secondary. Yes. yes, I've got to do it. Okay, so I've just uh, 12 attacks into the subjugators, uh, hitting on fours. Take away that. Toughness. Three. Three uh, fours to wounds. Two wounds. So that's uh, two wounds. Uh, in total. Uh, but the squad is alive still. The squad is alive. That's key. <laughs> it is key. So three plus save. Both saves. Both saved. Well done. Okay. Uh, now, it's the opponent that gets to fight back here. Yes. So I'm going to have my sergeant with a chainsword. Yep. And I have one dude. One dude. <laughs> <laughs> the medic. <laughs> <laughs> so four attacks hitting on freeze. Yes, because of your... Death call. Death call creed. And then wounding on freeze. Wounding on freeze. Three wounds. Three wounds. Five up flak. Save one. And I have no medic. So... You have a medic in that? Oh, did you take him off? I took him off, yeah. What? Yes, I did. <laughs> what would I have got? No, I wouldn't have saved him. Or snake eyes, especially. Uh, so I'm going to have to take off the... I'm going to take off the regimental standard... And I'm going to take off the melter. The colours are down. <laughs> so now the commander. Yeah, go for it. We'll do... No, no, I've changed my mind. Sorry. I'm going to take off the master box off to get more attacks. He's got a chainsaw, doesn't he? Chainsaw, yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, that's one. Uh, one hit. It does wound. Is that the power fist that does? No, that's the uh, chainsaw. Passes. Passes. Right, now the power fist attacks. So hitting on fours. Two hits. Ooh. Uh, two twos will be kills. Yes, and now the, the, the unit destroyed. But they're not on the But not on the objective. Yeah. No. Ah, one gets crushed. Medic's alive! <laughs> <laughs> the medic is still alive. <laughs> Hilarious. 
And that is it. So he gets to do his attacks against the guardsmen. Right, yes. So I have... Ooh, that's a good point. They're quite good, actually. So they're hitting on... Fours. Fours. Two yep. attacks each. Two attacks each. So I've only got three of them left. Yep. Out of unit ten. Yep. Um, straight for four. Yep. Minus one AP, one damage. Yep. So... Oh. Okay. And then three to wound. Yep. Ah. Uh, two. Two. Minus one. Minus one. Sixes. Say none. Feel no pain. Damage. One damage. Double six. <laughs> Feel no pain! Ooh, rah! <laughs> <laughs> right, that's the end of close combat, and I'm going to calculate victory points next for the Cadians. I'm going to Overwatch with the Rogal Dawn against the Ogrins. So, let's ch churn off some wounds. So, uh, here we go. Six shots each with the Stubbers. Lots of Dakar. Sixes are not lethal because they are infantry models against tanks. Yes. Uh, I've got a six. No wound. That's the heavy stubber. Next is the Castigator. Mm. Castigator has... Just double check if I've got the right dice. Yep, got 12 shots. Three sixes. Uh, two hits. Five swings to T uh, six. Can't you pause? <laughs> and then we've got the twin battle cannon. Honestly, can I pause? Pause. Revolt off camera. Hold on in your comments. We did feel no pain for the Ogrins. He's just rolled off camera. That was from the last time they caused yeah. damage. They failed. So the Ogrin is truly dead. The Ogrin's got five up or six plus feel no pain. Six. Six plus feel no pain. Okay. Uh, right, so twin battle cannon. Uh, D6 plus three yep. shots. Six shots. Hitting on sixes. Oh boy, three hits. Strength ten. Three is the wound, top six. Rerolling is twin linked. Yeah. Rerolling is twin linked. Three wounds at AP minus one. Ah, right. <laughs> Six pluses. Six pluses. Nope. Right. And no. no, they're gone. The ogrins have been wiped out. Oh. And the multi melters, what would they have done? They would have missed. Oh. Okay. So that's Overwatch completed hmm. there. Carry on with your movement, good sir. End of the movement phase and command phase on turn two turn for two, the militia. Yeah. So tell us what you've done in your command phase. So command phase, so yeah. I, I drew two missions. The yeah. missions were establish locus and cleanse. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> so what we've decided to do, we've decided to go, you know, I said last time around, if I stay away from you, I'm just going to get murdered. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to charge. Okay, for glory. So, Death Corps Creek Blob has gone move, move, move. Yep. The Cadian Shot Troops Blob has gone move, move. Hoping to cleanse on that objective. Hopefully, I'm going to kill more of them. <laughs> yep. The, sub, the Subjugators, unfortunately, failed the Battleshock Test, so I couldn't even put anyone out of combat to shoot mm. at them first. Yeah. So, we do, may have to make do what we do. Okay. The Death Corps Creek Squad also lost, uh, lost the Battleshock. But I did gain two models back for the uh, ten man unit. Yeah. So the combat's still in go ongoing down that way. Mm -hmm. um, down here we have we're going to cleanse the uh, objective here. Yeah. We were on last turn. Uh, hiding also hiding in behind the building. Yeah. Uh, the vehicles have moved up, so just so you can't just come in and blast them blast them away afterwards. Yeah. Uh, Hellhound's moved up as well to try and get a bead on the Demolisher. Yep. So with the, it's got Hell, it's got Hellhound, Inferno Cannon, multi and a HK. Yep. And then, uh, surprise! Surprise, <laughs> turned up on the flank. I had to move the mortars because yep. they're going to get cooked. So, but yeah. instead of getting cooked, you're going to get shot at. Yes. Right. So the, the squad of 10, which is here, mm -hmm. are going to then just shoot them. Yep. But these guys are going to establish Locus in your deployment. 
Okay, right. <laughs> yes. So uh, that is the end of the moon. Straight on to the shooting phase on turn two for the Malaysia. So this is a legendary unit that's about to shoot first. So uh, this is out of production. But still has the... Still have the rules in Legends. Rules in we're, Legends. we're not playing tournament rules. No. Um, that's not what the channel's all about. Like and to be fair, I mean, I kit bash the model to represent Yarrick mm. anyway, but... One of, the, one of the things you can do whenever you participate on the channel is you're allowed to bring legendary models so long as you have an official stat line. Yes. For that unit. Paul you can kit bash it or whatever you want to do, <laughs> like Paul done. Uh, but as so long as you have the data sheet, it's perfectly fine. So uh, you're allowed to do that. Psychic Shockwave. Oh, here we go. So 2d6 attacks. <laughs> yep. Strength 3. Yep. AP minus 1. Yep. 1 damage. Yep. Devastating wounds. Psychic. Yep. Torrent. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So 2d6 um, hits. So 6. Yep. Six. So four's wound, yep. but six is the devs thing. No sixes. No sixes. But two AP minus one. Dead. Get our rapid fire. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, it's part of the same unit. Part of so the same unit. Be, it would yeah. be a part of the thing. Yeah. Now, Norm, <laughs> you could, you could have given these guys a side cannon. Yep. Uh, Feel a bit cheeky because uh, he's only active models that, models that got Storm Bolter, so I'm going to just use Storm Bolter this time around. Mm -hmm. So 24 inch range, but I have Rapid Fire 2, so I would have been within, two, within Rapid Fire. Yep. That is 4 hits. Yep. Because he's got Viscal 3 plus. Trim for 4, so freeze. 3 wounds. Three 4 wounds. wounds, sorry. 4 wounds. No AP. Uh, another base gone. Okay. All right. And then we're going to go with... The um, las guns, I suppose. Um, hot shot body guns first. You just want to do the killy stuff, don't you? I really do, yes. <laughs> he wants vengeance for his fallen brethren. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Your point. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I could have said I could have said plasma guns, but yeah. <laughs> so rapid fire two, rapid fire two. There's two of them. Yeah. Hitting on freeze. Ah, now these are regiment, I believe. The guards were like, "Hurry up and kill us!" So they regiment. <laughs> kill me. <laughs> so it's three wounds uh, minus one. Destroyed. Target eliminated. Well, that happened. <laughs> <laughs> Subjugators firing their pistols. Into combat. And what pistols are these? They are Arbite shot pistol. Arbite shot pistol. Uh, 12 inches, attacks of one, strength of, uh, hits on four, strength of four. One damage. One damage. Three, Three hits. Three hits. Three wounds. Three wounds. Uh, AP minus nothing. AP minus nothing. Save two. Feel no pain. Do you feel it? I don't. <laughs> oh, well, okay. <laughs> so that question. Uh, <laughs> Hellhound, at your demolition. Yes, uh, ignoring cover. Ignoring cover. Uh, but, Inferno can. Yes, 2d6. 2d6. Five shots. Five shots. But now I've also hit it. Yep. You never gain cover from it. No, you cannot. <laughs> but no wounds. But no wounds. Um, HK. A hunter killer. Yeah, let's get some fire jet. It has missed. Okay. Multi milter. Multi milter. That is an auto wound. That's an auto wound, yes. Eight. Minus four. Minus four. Six up armor. Uh, give me a patron. Uh, Nate Miller. Fair no. And I'm in my armor vein. Nine inches. Uh, yes, double check. No, Just out. quite. <laughs> D6 damage. Two. Two. Okay, two damage down to 11 wounds remaining. Oh, down to five wounds remaining. I take that back. Uh, three plus. So this is shooting at the tank yeah. commander. Yeah. Three plus. Three plus. 
Nope. Missed. Uh, then the Chimera. Chimera. And I'm now in my fire range. Yeah. So that's going to ray. It's 12 shots. 12 shots. I might as well put the Storm Bolter in as well. Yeah, because it'll be six is really lethal. Yeah. And I'm, your toughest 12, aren't you? T12. Yeah, I might as well put the Mortgage Laser in as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shove all the dice in. Yeah. Ooh, come back in. <laughs> Okay. So there we six of lethal. Just the one. Just the one. That's a lot of ones. So when we were at this Phoenix Law tournament, there was a, a award for the person who rolled the most ones. I guess you won that one. <laughs> Is it my opponent? Yes, you did get you did get the wooden spoon award. I got the wooden spoon because I lost. <laughs> and the reason I got the wooden spoon was the fact that my dice yeah. They were cursed. <laughs> <laughs> so six to wound. Six to wound. That's another Oh, three. you got four in total. Yeah, so four. No AP. No AP indeed. So needing twos. I saw quite enough a wound. <laughs> oh, chipping me down. Heavy bolter. Heavy bolter. Oh, that's six. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, then we're gonna go plasma, and I think we're also gonna go melter because I'm in, I'm now in rapid range. Okay. So we're gonna... supercharged with the plasma. Oh, yes. He is. Is, yes. it, is it the default thing? Well, let's move away. I'm firing at a vehicle. Yes. Firing at a vehicle. Yes. <laughs> Don't kill yourself. <laughs> no, because I'm I'm in the vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> Don't kill the chimera. <laughs> but that is two hits. Two hits. Do I wound with fives? That is one wound at minus Because it would take aim. So is it shooting on three? No, it's reason normally because there's signs in there. Oh, signs are shooting out. Yeah. Oh, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Uh, AP minus three. three so just one, just one. Just one. Okay. Five up. That's a five. That is five. Mills gun. Okay. Does it... Uh, oh, does he charge? No. It was like... <laughs> <It's dust. laughs> oh. That's a free. I'll that's give you free. that. Okay. Yep. Um, that's not a wound. That's not a wound. Okay. That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> um, and would you believe that's it for combat? That's it for shooting. That's it for shooting. Well, that was quick. Now it's close combat. Charges. Charge! <laughs> X! Bayonet! So, Death Call Creek. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there, we're going to uh, take that off camera. Yeah. <laughs> what oh, they do I'll, I'll put these in as well. Yeah, so put them in the Gold Coast going in as well. Yep, here we go. So that is a three plus... Four, four seven. Seven inches. Yep. They're all in. They're, they're all in. Okay. Um... <laughs> I'm tense. I'm charging the hellhounds into the marsha. Do tank shot. Yeah. <laughs> you could do if you want to, if you're desperate. Oh, I need to get rid of some of your armor. <laughs> no, I'm going to be sensible. You're going to be sensible. I'm going to be sensible. But what if? If you made the charge, fine. <laughs> you would have done. <laughs> now you would have spent a CP. Yeah, I'm not going to roll now. I'm not, I'm not oh, you got it. Go on. Go on. <laughs> No, I'll, I'll do it at the end. Do it at the end, okay. Yeah, that would end. be the one I would have done it. Oh, I right, will do it at the end. Okay, he's going to do this movement, um, yeah. and then next segment we're going to do close combat next. <laughs> right, look at that. It looks like a, a massive fight is brewing out here. If, the, if uh, anyone knows the sweet, the sweet uh, <laughs> ballroom blitz, anyone? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we're going to do the attacks uh, next. So who are you going to start off with? I start with Gaunt's Ghost, because they strike first. Gaunt's Ghost, do they strike first regardless? Yeah. Okay. Right, who's attacking first? Let's go with McColl. McColl. Um, so he has five attacks. Yeah. He hits on twos normally without even take aim. Yeah. He has strength of three. He has minus one AP, one damage. Yeah. He has precision, so hello, Mr. Officer. <laughs> okay. Oh, but does he have to be in base contact with him? Probably does in all fairness, yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Okay. But you can pick on any unit. Within the coherency of this. Yeah, place. but I don't have to get you get your command squad. Yeah. <laughs> and uh devastating wounds and position. Nasty. Hitting on twos. Hitting on twos. This is a guardsman here. So that's five hits. Five hits. So strength of three, so fours. Fours. Oh. 
two. Two, no designated wounds, but minus one. Okay. Sixes. Save none. So two guardsmen feel no pain. Six points. No pain. Yeah. No. So two guardsmen are dead. Now, Gaunt. Oh dear, the Zoid Forge has been removed as a casualty. So Gaunt also has five attacks. Yes. With a two plus to the hit normally. Yeah. Strength of three normally, minus one AP, one damage. Yeah. Gaunt. Ga the, the Gaunt himself. Yeah. I've got the older model of him. With the power sword. With the power sword. This is pre Vervenheit. Oh, right. So this is before. Uh, book three. Book three. Okay. One, one misses, one wound. One wound. No, feel no pain. Does he feel it? He does not feel it again. He does not feel it. <laughs> right. And then each member of the group, each other member of the group, I'm sorry, has just a straight silver knife. Yeah. Three attacks each. Three attacks each. Hits on freeze normally. So is there how many members are there? Six. The oh, six in the group. Yes. Oh, gotcha. So gotcha. Out of four other members. Oh, no, oh. three of them. No, four of them. Yeah. Um, so that's 12 attacks. Yeah. Hits on freeze normally, but yeah. take eight. But uh, so you fix bayonets. Yeah. Um, strength for free. Yeah. No AP, one damage. One damage. Okay. Twos. Twos, hitting on twos. Because Gaunt can actually order, them, order their own unit as well. Yeah. Right. Those miss, but that's five at Snoopy. Uh, saved two. Right. Feel no pain, sixes. It's another three. So he's dead. Uh, oh, no, let's keep him alive. He's definitely getting kept alive. He's dead. He's dead. The death core group. They, they are now following three inches. Three inches, yeah. <laughs> Which is basically going to mean, I think most of you are going to be in combat. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to do it off camera. Yes. Power fist first. Irony, they're part of the death core Kree squad, which has suffered one casualty. So plus one hit. <laughs> <laughs> and good for that, that's two hits. Yeah. Two to wound, because I'm not powerful. Two to wound. Two wounds, two, two dead. Two dead. Uh, fill oh, no pain. Fill no pain, so two damage each. Dead. And? Give me box cars. No. Uh, two Hit attacks with the power weapon. Hit and freeze. Two hits. Two hits. Wounding or freeze? Wounding or freeze. Two dead. Two dead. Or oh, no, two Furno Pains. Two Furno Pains. So none, again. Two more. 22 attacks. Uh, hitting on freeze. Yep. Wow, that's so quite nasty. Force to wound. Five saves. <laughs> wow. Feel no pain. Uh, two more. So, is there any regular guardsman? Yes, there is. One, and we have a comrade that's lost, uh, and that's Shay Street. There's a plasma gunner down here. Yeah. <laughs> He's been surrounded. He's been surrounded. <laughs> <laughs> right. Chainsaw attacks with three, and... Two, uh, three other veterans adding up nine regular attacks. And this is against the ghosts. This is against ghosts. Any minuses to hit? Uh, stealth, which I don't think works. No. So he's not, no minuses to hit. Any on fours. Okay. How many wounds have they got each? Two each. Two each. Uh, Shrimp three. Two wounds. No AP. One takes a wound. One takes a wound. Now the commander. Um, who am I going to take that on? I've only come to take on Bragg. <laughs> <laughs> commander, fours. Yeah. One hit. Uh, strength six, twos. That's a wound. AP minus two. Two damage. Yeah, he gone. He's gone. Okay, he's been killed. Goodbye, Bragg. Okay, and then the rest of the other attacks. Six attacks into the subjugators. Two hits. Toughness. Uh, three. One wound. No AP. One save. That's one save. That's that and done. And the raining attacks into your default. One hit. 
No wound. Okay, no damage. All right. So your attack's back. My attacks. I'm first. Thing I'm going to do is actually these, these are against your command party here. Yeah, but uh, that's an ongoing melee, so I'll be fighting first. No, because they, oh, they, they, then you pick which ones go first. That's what I'm trying. To right. So you're picking this. Attack I'm going to pick that. That. Yep. That's what to go first. Yep. 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 So five attacks. Yep. Uh, I hit on. I hit four. I hit four you're times four, because yeah. um, they're also death call. Yeah. And I wound on freeze. Because I'm under half strength. <laughs> Two wounds. It's like that meme. It's like diff um, Cadians. It's like, we're going to fight. Oh no. Deathcore Creek. We're going to fight. Oh yeah. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it on. <laughs> Two saves. No. Two for the oh no, the medic's gone. No, medic's gone. So I'm going to take off the standard. Yep. And take a wound on the commander. Your attack's back. With the subjugators. With the subjugators. Needing freeze hit. Needing... Was it freeze or was it force? Apologies. That's all right. I don't get to use these guys often enough because they normally get shot before they get I there. think they'll be freeze to wound. I know they're freeze to wound. I can't remember if they're freeze to hit. No, they're force hit. Force hit. Okay. But that doesn't mean that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, freeze the wound. That's three wounds. Um, minus one. Is it three wounds or is it five? No, five wounds. Sorry, five wounds. Yeah. I thought it was three brain. or five. <laughs> uh, eighty minus one. Eighty minus one. Sixes. Uh, one. one saves. Fair one pains. One damage each. None. None. So four killed. So just for sake of casualties and yeah. coherency, yeah. I'm going to suggest you take off this guy. Yeah, take off the sergeant. I'm going to suggest you take off this guy. Yes, he's surrounded and killed. And I'm going to take off the... Now, uh, this plasma gun here is on his own, so you can't take off this guy. Yeah, so I take the plasma gun off. But you're going to take the plasma gun off anyway? Yeah, I have to take him off. Right, okay. And take the Voxcaster off. And uh, take the Voxcaster off. Yeah. Which is that one. Perfect. And that's it. Right, so that's the end of the turn for the militia. militia. Now, they do out-OC me. We checked off camera. Uh, just about. Only just. Only just, but they do. Even though we have an OC of three because of the banner. There's a they, lot more models than me. There's a lot more models uh, than uh, us. So what we're going to do now is going to calculate uh, secondary victory points next. So the good news is, is that he's achieved all your objectives. Yes. So you've got cleanse and cleanse. Yep, so for two. For two. And you've got established locus. For one. For well, one for extra, extra four. So four. Both, both objectives give me four victory points. Yep. So the tally is 28 to the militia. Yep. 18 to the Cadians. Yep. Um... Which I didn't think was going to be a situation, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> right, you, did, you did well. Uh, also, the good news is the Death Corps are still in combat. Yes. <laughs> so you can't shoot into, like, into that combat. No, you have to probably somehow pull out. But I've got to do a battle shock test before uh, anything else happens. So that is the end of the battle round, actually. We're going to go on to turn three, battle round three, for the Cadians next. Right, we've selected secondary missions. No prisoners, and marked for death. Kill, 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 kill. And kill. Kill, 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 kill. kill. They've been marked to death. Um, Jungle fighters. Mr. Garibaldi and his yeah. miners. They've been marked to death. Murphy and his, his tin sons. Yeah. And the Ga Gaunt's ghosts have been marked for Which death. Which would make sense. You're, you're targeting, sense. you're targeting what you can see of command structure. Yes, very true indeed. I've got to do battle shock tests. You've got a few to do, I think. Uh, over here, the commander. Yep. He's okay. He is okay. Uh, the Cadian's in the middle. Cadian's in the middle. They are not okay. They oh. are battle shocked. <laughs> so their OC counts as zero. Yes. And, they, and they, if they try and break, get away from combat, they have to do a desperate breakout. Yeah, I'm going to have to do desperate deck out. We're, okay, we're so let's leave that for a minute. Yeah. Uh, your exterminate is on six wounds. No, no, your punisher's on six wounds. I believe he needs to make a round test. The punisher? Yeah, punisher. Uh, is it every time? It takes every time. Every two, time. Every yeah. time it's under half strength. Oh, they're good. They're good. And what about your vehicles in the middle? Vehicles in the middle are fine. Exterminate's on, maybe? No, it's on no. nine wounds. Fair no, yeah. that's cool. It's all good. 
So uh, that is it. So what I'll do now is we are going to do the command phase next. I've re off camera. I've healed full three wounds back on the demolisher, just to clarify that there. So that's got four plus in bun as well. Yeah. And the other thing is, uh, we're going to do orders next. Right. So it's the end of the command and movement phase on turn three for the Ash Militarum. It's been a lot with the Cadence. Yes, clarify that it is Cadence turn. Uh, so the orders are given. Take aim to the Rogal Dawn from the tank commander. Now the officer that was here, he issued an order to them. Oh, sorry, to... Um, no, so the officer in the big squad auditioned oh, the big to squad. the field orders, orders battery. Field orders battery. Yes, they found their battle shock test, but it actually yeah. says in the guard rules that as long as the receiving models mm -hmm. aren't battle shot, you can still yeah, do an order. Still do an order. Okay, so that's that there. So they have the order, so they have the sustained hits, which is very useful indeed. And I've, they haven't moved, but I pivoted it because it looks a bit more cinematic. It, yeah. Uh, so they've lined up their guns in line of sight this time, and they're going to be shooting at uh, one of the... Scions or the enforcers. Scions and enforcers, but it's... Um, there are two units there. There are two units of them, but the thing is they are marked for death. Or one of them is. One of them is, yeah. The, so. the big 10-man squad with the uh, with Judge Murphy is marked to death. Yes, that's the one we'll be targeting. Darn. <laughs> <laughs> so there's that there. And then we've got the Chimera has secured this objective here. Yes, so yes. if it's Defend Stronghold, that'd be really useful for us well, ba as well. Basically means I would not be able oh, to Storm Hostile objective. <laughs> yeah. And then um, the Vanquisher actually has line of sight to the Hellhound, which has a range 72 main cannon. It has had to move, though. It has had to move, so it will be uh, minus one to hit. Well, not minus one to hit, but it won't get the heavy minus ability. One, yeah. Yeah. The Punisher, I just pivoted, just for cinematics. Yeah. So it doesn't matter, it's minus two movement. <laughs> so turning around and gatling them there. They withdrew from close combat. I lost two models because yeah. they were battle shocked. Yeah. Uh, so they are removed, but they I can just shoot everything into them. That's what I wanted to do. The tanks here stood still. They're just going to try and blast away as much of what they can. Uh, should be quite an easy mission here. So the other two squads that are marked for death, um, we, uh, just in case you oh, yes. done earlier. Ghost Scorns. Scorns Ghosts Scorns in the middle. Ghosts. Yeah. And the Harkers um, Miners over there. Yeah. Now I did. I, I thought we. I think we did say that I was going to be line of sight blocking that, that terrain. Yes, we did. Yes. So yeah. hopefully they'll be fine. Now. They're okay. <laughs> they are okay because the mortars are all eliminated. So that's the end of the movement phase on turn three for the Cadians. We're going to go straight on to the shooting phase next. The last cannon is going to shoot. At... <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got the uh, primary weapons going to shoot into the Hellhound. I'm going to I'm going to call up on a patron here, Sam Hermes, Silver Star member of the army. So you did the last cannon first. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do the last cannon first. <laughs> so uh, Sam Hermes, thank you for your support on the channel. This is what it's all about. Yeah, right here we go. Here on the fourth I plus. <laughs> we rolled a one. <laughs> <laughs> even That's Sam Hermes knew even that was Sam awful. Hermes knew that was too cruel <laughs> <laughs> oh right okay now the primary weapon into the hellhound yeah, of course come on uh, smoke launchers so fives yeah he's going to activate smoke for the emperor give me a five or a six five or a six give me a six especially yeah. two no it's not going to be I'm not going to spend a CP for that uh, never mind, but thank you, Sam, for your support. Could have been heroics there, but it was not to be. Next up is the Sentinels first. Do you have any blobs of 20? You mean Death Corps, Kree, that are in the middle there? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, go to ground. <laughs> yeah, of course you can. <laughs> Do you want to spend a command point? Yes. <laughs> so you are down, sir, <laughs> to zero, zero command points. <laughs> so he's gone to ground with the infantry. So I'm going to do the um, missile launchers. So I'm going to use frag into that death corpse for Creed unit. It's 3d6 plus 12. Huh? And that there is uh, 21 Shots coming. Trip four. Four into wound. Uh, yeah, so four saves only. So three dead. 
Phil Nath Haynes. Phil Nath Haynes. Free dead. Free dead. <laughs> <laughs> Next up is the Punisher Gatling Cannon and the heavy bolters into the same unit. Punisher Gatling Cannon uh, hitting on uh, for. Choose to boon. Six is a devastating because the nature of the Punisher Gatling Cannon against infantry models. Yep. So one is devastating. Yep. And a a, just a couple of ones. So that there is a grand total of eight regular saves. You will get cover. Yep, so fours. I'll get take cover anyway. Yeah. So that's three. It's going to paint. Yep, and then the one for devastating ones. Yep. <laughs> So five dead. Five dead. Next up is the heavy bolter. <laughs> <laughs> heavy bolters. Uh, that one becomes a six for sustained hits. Strip five. Toughness three. Freeze to wound. And that is five saves of AP minus one, so two damage. Fives. Yeah. Three saves. Feel no pain. Feel no pain. No. Three dead. Three dead. <laughs> two damage a pop, it would have yeah. been two each, so. Yeah, so what I, I said earlier, what I did is um, roll one, roll yeah. one dice for every one. Mm -hmm. If anyone survives, roll another dice. Yeah. Poor guys, yes, the Chimera uh, is going to shoot at. Actually, I'm going to do the grenade launcher. Oh? Do you have, how many uh, guys do you have left? Uh, hang on, so I've lost 12 models, um, eight. Plus five is 13. 13. So frag. Four plus two. two. Six. These are Caspian Stormtroopers. They don't freeze. That's five hits. Shrimp three. Yes. Force to wound. And that's three wounds at no AP. Double check that actually, because I think it's also, it could be shrimp four. No, not there. I take that back. Another wound. So it's actually four wounds because it's stroke four now. They, they changed that. So the fragmentation's got a bit better. Three saves. Three saves. Throwing a pain. Saved. Uh, saved. Well done. Uh, flame is out of range, so I've just got a la uh, hot shot las gun and not in rapid fire. But did you double heavy, heavy flame rip? I haven't got heavy flame on it. Oh, you had a flamer in the squad. Flamer in the squad, yeah. Uh, in which case, they use, use that. oh yeah, it's a one hot shot last time. Uh, one hit. My brain works. That's right, one hit. <laughs> and uh, four to wound. That's a Indeed. wound. That is a save, but do I feel do I feel pain? Yes, I do. You do. That was a hot shot last gun shot. Uh, where are they? Now, oh. if, hot, if the guy's firing from the uh, compartment, do they get lethal hits? Or is no, it and I'm just brutal. Oh no! no, 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 no. <laughs> Casualty of war. Oh dear. It's just broke his bottle. Oh no. <laughs> Multi melters and Laz Cannon. Gonna shoot into the Hellhound. And the Exterminator Auto Cannon is gonna shoot into the Chimera. So rapid fire with the Exterminator Auto Cannon. Uh, hitting on fours. Only two hits, but they'll get a further AP minus now. Yeah, it's true. And two wounds at AP minus one. Each does th uh, three damage. That's three damage. Down to two. Down to two. <laughs> Next up is the multi melters. This will be hitting on fives because he's activated smoke against the. Uh, Fancher earlier. earlier on. Uh, that is a lethal hit and a hit because of the vehicle. And T10. Yeah. Strength 9. So that's failed. So one wound, AP minus 4. So plus 1 because of the smoke. So the smoke five. Cover. Yeah, fives. No. D6 damage, not within armor bane. Yeah. And that's a 3. I need to double check the range, actually. Hold on just a second. Which that means the camera will go pop. That's fine. So what Paul's done is the multi melters shots that have gone onto the Hellhound was out of range, but he's gonna do it so that all the damage was on the uh, Chimera instead. Which, now goes pop. <laughs> now goes pop. <laughs> Doesn't go pop. Doesn't go boom even. And guys inside. There are six. Yep. 
two mortal wounds. I'm going to put them wounds. on the Ogren bodyguard. Yep. For the purpose of, he has a four plus feel no pain. Okay. He takes one. He takes one wound. Okay. Bronze Star member of the army group, Daniel Baker. Thank you, comrade, for your support on the channel. Uh, so we're going to do the twin battle cannon into this unit here. Castigator Gatling Cannon and all the Heavy Stubbers are going to go into this unit here. And then we've got the Multi Melters are going to shoot into the, uh, the bike. So D6 plus three shots for the primary weapon. It's the full six plus three yeah. is nine. How many years have you killed already? Uh, I have killed... Killed the Chimera. Killed the Chimera. Yeah. Sorry. That's all right. He's calculating something here. Battle cannon. Hitting on freeze because the order. That's a cock die. I'll reroll that one. Okay, that generates as a hit. No. That's pretty poor, actually, to be honest. Strength is 10. Why are you going to be winning on twos anyway? Two to wound. Uh, three wounds. So AP minus one. And this is against the center unit. That unit there, yeah. yeah. So I'm going to take it on the old Oh, uh, Blast. Do I get, any... get plus one? I'm going to get plus one, so I need to roll another dice. Yeah. There's ten shots, actually. And that's a miss. Okay, we're done. That's that done. I am going to take these on the old Grim Bodyguard. Yep. Because he has a full platinum double save. Mm. <laughs> and that's his job. Six damage. Feel no pains of four, pain. plus. Four, four plus. Because he's a, a stubborn boy. Stubborn, oh. tough brute. I apologise. Uh-oh. Is six plus. Six plus. I read somewhere that had four plus. That's the in bun, probably. No, if the officer's wounded. If the officer's wounded. Ah. <laughs> Apologies. That's fine. But so I believe he is dead. He is definitely dead. He's took the whole brunt there. <laughs> <laughs> He's dead. There are bits of machine everywhere. Right. I should be within nine inches. Armour Bane. I think you are. Yes, thanks to the turret. <laughs> Four shots. Video on freeze. Yeah, never. Because of the order. Uh, three hits. Wounds on freeze. Wounds on freeze. How many wounds has it got? Three there. If all of these hit, I don't even have to roll the dice. Yeah, exactly that. Oh, so it's four plus two d six. Oh, it's going to wound. It's going to die. <laughs> yeah, you're gone. <laughs> does it detonate? Does he pop? He does not. No vehicles are detonated so far. We're underpowered. <laughs> We're underpowered. Castigator Gatling Cannon is going to shoot into those chappies in there. Yep. Hit you on freeze, do you believe? Still five. Freeze. Six wounds. You get cover. I get cover. Right, so yeah. no minuses with the casket? No minuses. So six. six. Three dead? Three dead. Funeral pains, no? No. Oh, no, just nothing. Okay. Now, all of these dice, plus six for the rapid fire heavy stubbers. Even 18. Well, I'd say... I'm definitely getting a case of Deathcore Creek in the future. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Freeze. Okay. Strip four. Then freeze again. Yeah. Okay. That there is eight saves of cover. No AP. <clears throat> Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Uh, so save. That's four dead. Four dead. Uh, let's take you guys off. Come on. Give it. Give it. <laughs> and money. Okay. okay. Yes, so the <laughs> Demolisher Cannon, the, the tank commander, is going to shoot everything, all the firepower, into the Hellhound. This is dedicated to Maxfield Knuckles, a Silver Star member of the Army Group. Thank you, comrade, for your support. He is in command of the 501st Knuckleheads. Ah! Yes. A glorious regiment, a member of the army group. Very faithful colonel 
of the army group. What are you trying to say about me at the moment? <laughs> you are a disgrace bringing civil war to the field of battle on my channel. You should be loyal. <laughs> you agree to it. True. <laughs> it's for viewers' pleasure. So, uh, last cannon. Missed. multi -meltas. Hitting on fives. That's two lethal hits. Oh, dear. At AP minus four, but you will get cover. I will get cover, so fight. Save one. Save one, one goes. Uh, not within armor bane, so D6 damage. That's the full six. <laughs> <laughs> Engage demolish a cannon! Mm. That's the number. <laughs> oh no! Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the 501st Knuckleheads. Welcome to death. <laughs> Three lethal hits. <laughs> Strength 14. Uh, freeze. Who says that this weapon is unpredictable? Ray Cross told me that at the tournament. It's a beautiful baby. I mean, to be fair, you just want a six to hit. Yeah. <laughs> six to get yes. shots. AP so minus, like... AP minus. Uh, three. Uh, I am gone. Okay, 5d6 <laughs> damage. Four ones. 5d6 no. damage. Does it detonate? Oh, please don't. Not now. Thank God. It doesn't. <laughs> Next up is the field ordnance cannons. I'm going to target the one that has... Uh, Ooh. What are they called for the part of the mission? Mark for death. Mark for right. death. Exterminate! The rogue would fail, by the way, people. Yes, it did. <laughs> it did fail its test. Uh, so, the exterminate. Exterminate. So that's a five. Ooh. Is it the ghost inch? I'm including that in. No. Ooh. Only by by Ooh, only out by a week, sir. Oh no. Literally a quarter of an inch out. Oh. Let's try the uh demolisher cannon. <laughs> Come on, for the Emperor. No! <laughs> They're not charging today. You fired so many guns that it's forcing the, the tank right back. <laughs> I, I, I killing them, sir. We're killing them. Right, so there's no close combat action. So what we're going to do now is we're going to calculate secondary victory points next. So calculating victory points is good news for the Astra Minotaurum. Uh, the Cadians in particular. We've scored uh, maximum points for no prisoners. So we've got five victory points. And that brings the total to... So it's... 3128. 3128 at the moment. But then it will be my command phase next. Yep, so we're going to sort that out uh, next year. So we're going to go on to a new uh, turn. It's for the militia. It's militia turn three. He's just <laughs> got bring it down and area denial uh, for his secondaries <laughs> on the beginning of turn three for the militia. It's just getting ridiculous. Um, so he has got two primaries. I did get two primaries, yes. So yep. I've got I've 10 points, so it puts me up to 38. Okay, 38 points. You're winning, tactically, just, just about. <laughs> and uh, you've regained two models over there. Yeah. And two models over here as well. They're still battle shocked. They are still battle shocked. But uh, one of them passed. No, well, no, this is what the back here passed. Yep. They're not battle shocked. They're Sorry, not battle shocked. Sorry, that's all right. And that's it. So they're not battle shocked. So uh, just, um, just these guys down here. Just those guys. They're battle shocked down there. Uh, so that is the end Ooh, sorry, of one. calculating. Yep, they're battle shocked. Oh, they're battle shocked over there. Okay. <laughs> so they count as OC zero. Right. Yep. So that's the end of uh, those checks. We'll do the command phase and movement phase in the next segment on turn three for the militia. Just when he thought he could try and take out my guns, I'm going to overwatch with my Rogal Dawn. Within 24 inches, obviously. Uh, I'm going to target the larger unit models. There. Uh, it's this one here, sorry. Yeah, that unit. <laughs> so here we go. Heavy stoppers, rapid fire. Within 18. Yep. Three hits so far with the stoppers and two wounds. No AP. Cover? Uh, yes, you'll get cover. Freeze. <laughs> <laughs> well, that happened. Two dead. <laughs> Next up is the Castigator yep. Cannon. Oh boy. Um, <laughs> four hits. Whenever I do uh, I four hits. It never does anything. 
Uh, two wounds. Only straight five. Um, Another one goes. One Next up is the... Uh, Multi-melters. Multi-melters. <laughs> Will you stop? <laughs> Good grief. <laughs> two wounds, AP minus four. Kaplee. Kaplee. And the battle cannon. Yeah. Uh, D6. So it's two plus three is five, plus the models that plus are in the there. Plus the other start, it'll be in yeah. six. Yeah. So it means six shots. Neon sixes. Uh, one hit. Twos. Wounded. AP minus one. Oh, my God. So it's four. No. Another one goes. And that's the Overwatch completed. Uh, Operation Bring Them Down is the aim of the game. So, so I need to kill your what's left of your blob of Cadians in the mm, centre to yeah. get area denied. Yeah. There, there is preparations for a charge if need be. <laughs> <laughs> Not again. Oh. <laughs> right. That's the end of the movement and command phase. So Paul, yeah. please tell us. What so done? I've moved Gaunt's ghosts up and I've give, actually given the order fix bayonets. Yep. These guys have turned around. Mm -hmm. um, they've got melt gun that way. I can put yep. some stuff this way. Yeah. The subjugators also moved up in the buildings as well. They're, they're, they're still alive. There's three models left there. Yeah. These guys are staying inside the building here just yep. to get cover. These guys are staying over there to get to score objectives. Uh, these the, the actual command squad has given themselves take aim. Yeah, and have moved themselves in front of the uh, demolition tank. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be a little bit cheeky on this because I, I forgot that tank commanders do not have the demolition special, special rule, which is that you can't fire it into you can't fire your blast weapon into combat. It's only on the demolition uh, unit special ability as well. But it's a tank commander. Doesn't have that ability. Yeah, <laughs> but if you kill me, doesn't matter anyway. I get to shoot. True. <laughs> Um, on a two plus. On a two plus. On a two plus. So what's left of the te the big blob is now a small blob. Yep. It's over here. We've also got the uh, other small 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 uh, silos here. Yep. Hopefully to try and take out some of the uh, artillery. Yep. And maybe the metal guns going into the vehicle. Yep. And uh, another small blob has appeared over here. <laughs> Them there. Another blob. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's getting ridiculous. Too many men. Kill them all. To be fair, I'm not, I haven't taken out a tank yet. No, true. So, you haven't yet. Not yet. But you've got to take out a tank at least. Yes. So that's the plan today. That's the uh, plan today. So that's the end of the movement phase. And command phase going to go straight into the shooting phase next. Yeah. So, first things first. Yes. Mills gun. Yes. The tank. Yes. The smoke. <laughs> For your wood. Yes. <laughs> you have to remember it's got four up in bun. Yeah. So I'm expending ACP. Okay, so he's. Uh, I'm down to one command point. He's on one command. Did you just spend a command point? Yeah, I just, I, I spent it for you. Oh, I spent it for me. Yeah. So five to hit. Yep. Uh, to wound, I need a five. Yes, you do. <laughs> no, I want it for grenade. <laughs> okay. Uh, plasma gun, rapid firing. Plasma gun, rapid firing. I think I know what he's up to. Minus one hits. Because they're signs. Uh huh. That does not wound. wound. Uh, Hotshot lads gun. Oh no, do I explode? No. No. Hotshot lads weapons. Now you roll sixes. Yes. <laughs> and six to wound. No. Nothing. Okay. Right. This squad here. Yes. We're going to lob a grenade at the Lean Rusty Mojo before I fire. Yes. So, spending a command point. Yeah, spending that one command point. I'm going to do it now. Yeah, we just checked off camera. Uh, there was no lethal hits for the plasma. Well, it, was, it, was it, was it was sustained hits. It was sustained hits, rather. Yeah. Yeah, sorry about that. Okay. Um, and then six to wound. None. None, okay. That didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> um, then over the backside over here. Yeah. We're going to go... Sneaky metal gun. Oh no, I'm, I'm behind the bush, but I have got a metal gun range into your tech priest. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Try and kill me. So, plasma gun and two hotshot lads rifles into them. Yep. Hotshot pistol, metal gun into him. Right. <laughs> okay. 
Let's see if we can survive. So we're doing a melt gun first. Yep. Freeze. That's a six. That's a lethal. Oh dear. <laughs> you get a six plus and vulnerable save for him. Do I get six plus in Yes, you do. Him? Okay, I'll double check this. It's not a six plus, it's actually a five plus in Vun save. We do have a refractor field. Yep. Five or a six to live. For the Omnisire. No. You do I spend a CP reroll? <laughs> do you know what? I don't think I've spent a CP reroll in this game. Though you haven't yet. Yes, you did once. I probably did once, yeah, didn't yeah, I? Yeah. But hardly ever. <laughs> How many CPs have I got left? One. One. No. Yeah, two, maybe. No, one. Because you overwatched. Yeah, I've got one, yes. Yeah. Um, oh. <laughs> yeah, go on. All right. <laughs> Five plus in one. No. D6 damage? D6 damage. For six. Pop. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> that was Paul David Gray. I killed myself. You killed yourself. <laughs> Join the ranks of the Heretics. Oh. <laughs> the four plus in one is still active, though. Yes, on the, uh, on the turn. Um, oh, dear <laughs> man. <laughs> so the plasma gun is going to overcharge into the field onto the battery. What a waste of CP. <laughs> Happens. Oh, Spent the CPs, I'm down to zero as well. Luck it of happens. the dice. It is luck of the dice. So freeze to hit the um, field north battery with the plasma gun. Yep. Nope. nope. Do I blow up? Yes. <laughs> you take a mortal wound. Pop. Pop. <laughs> He's dead. Well, that's for free. <laughs> <laughs> and two hot shot last guns. One hit. One hit. T5. Nope. No. Nope. And then the other, the what's left of the other squad. Yeah. Uh, so the storm bolter because he's psychics out of range. Mm -hmm. The plasma gun and the body gun. Yep. So storm bolter. One hit. Yep. No wounds. No wounds. Plasma overcharging. Hits. Yes. Unless it's also a wound. It's also a wound because it's lethal. So minus three. Minus three. Do you get a save? Uh, I don't think so. I think I've got four plus. So it's two damage, and down two, three wounds remaining. So he's just fired the plasma gun, and he's caused two wounds, and he rolled off camera, and he did not get hot. No. <laughs> uh, hot shot for the gun. For hazardous roll. Uh, one hit. Yep. Strength four. No. Nothing. This squad here, that the medic is doing an amazing job. He really is. <laughs> <laughs> um. <clears throat> I'm going to kill him next turn. <laughs> That's okay, they've probably, probably done their job by next time. <laughs> um, the melt gun, as much as I want to put it in the exterminator, I'm tempted to put it into your officer. Okay. Because <laughs> there's a power fist there. Yes. Actually, no, no, I'll tell you what, I'm going to be sensible here. I've got two laser guns. Yeah. They're going to go into your officer. Yes. The melt gun is going to go into tank. Okay. The grenade launcher is going here. Right. <laughs> okay. So here we go. So two of those guns into your officer. Yep. At a fire range. Yep. And that's all hit. One of them is lethal. Yep. Uh, force the wound. Another wound. Four. Has he got carapace armor? Yeah, I, are you, I think he has a problem safe. I'll, I'll double check that. Yep, yeah, he has killed the officer. He has not got carapace armor. He's just got flak armor. The Castellan has. Ah, that's what I'm getting, they're getting confused. My bad. Yep. Um, melt gun into the Russ. Yep. Nope, that misses. Missed. And the grenade launcher frag. That's the exterminator has been targeted. Of course. And the frag into these guys here. So that is a full seven models. So two. Two. One hit. One wound. No AP. One. Uh, uh, feel no pain. Medic, yes. No. He feels it. He feels it. So I'm going to put it on. Yeah, I'm going to have to put it on the Voxcaster. Right. Corbett, hot shot, Lasgana. That's two hits. Yeah. Freeze the wound. Or force the wound. 
That's two wins and minus one. <laughs> <laughs> Box cars. No. And a pit. Um... Finna pain. Yeah, come on. Save one. Uh, it's going to have to go on the melter gun. Uh, the, the long lads, I'm going to go for your officer again. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> that misses. He missed. <laughs> and the bolt pistol. Bolt pistol. Hits. It's doesn't move. Doesn't move. Uh, three shots from the Arbite. Yep. And I think I'll call that there afterwards. So that's one hit. <laughs> no. One. I, I want to remove the squad, but I also want to do it in combat. Yes. So they're going to fix bayonets, I suppose. Fix. Have you issued the order fix bayonets to I them? did issue, issue the fix bayonets to Gaunt's Ghosts. Gaunt's Ghosts. <laughs> okay, so Gaunt's Ghosts are going to do that. The Arbite. Arbite. Charge. Ten inches. Ten inches. Ah, oh, here we go. Gaunt's Ghosts. Gaunt's Ghosts. For five. For five. They'll the, make it. The, death, the last of the Orlocks. The Orlocks. I go in six. They'll make it. So I'm going to, have to film that off camera and where they'll be positioned. Another charge into the demolisher. Five. Five inches. They'll make it. Yeah. Just off camera, uh, they've done a five inch charge. Gaunt's ghosts go first and they're going to go into the Cadian uh, shock trip unit. McCall. Hits on twos. Hits on twos. Uh, four hits. Strength. Three, but yeah. devastating. <laughs> no definitely wins, but minus one. Okay. No, from a pain. <laughs> okay, so he's lost his bodyguard and the commander. There's a Vox caster so, here. And a Vox caster, yeah. So all the guards. That was the one that was the one I was wait, I was worried about. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just the commander left. Gaunt. Gaunt himself. Has five attacks. Five attacks. Hits on twos. Hits on twos. Misses once. Strength. Has strength of three. Force to wound. Two. Two. Minus one. Uh, five up refractor field. Yep. No, it takes two wounds. It takes two wounds. So he's got one wound remaining. Oh, okay. Any other attacks? Nine attacks with the rest of the guys oh, in the squad. Just get it done quickly. <laughs> Twos because of take uh, because of fixed bayonets. Yeah. Fours to wound. Fours to wound. Oh, oh dear. dear. <laughs> oh dear. That's seven. Seven saves. Of <laughs> AP minus none. I need a miracle here. I need all the fives and sixes. You worse with him. Worse with him. <laughs> ah, he's gone. Ah. Killer, you've can consolidate as well. I now can't because I can't get back onto an objective or not within, oh, okay. within three inches of another unit. Yeah. Right, calculating victory points. All of my infantry have been wiped out except for the Cassigan Stormtroopers and the Castellan. Uh, so you've gained... I gained five for area denial. Area denial. And there was ten primaries at the start of the ten turn. Ten primaries at the start of the turn. So I am on 43. 43 points to the militia. The militia are tactically winning, even though they've taken an absolute battery. So uh, what... Yeah, it hurts. <laughs> so what we're going to do now is we are going to continue on to a new battle round. It's battle round four, turn four, for the forces of the 18th Cadian Army. Oh, uh, end of the movement phase for the Ashton Militarum on turn four, the Cadians. Yes. So the tank commanders issued an order to the Rogel Dawn to take aim. Yep. Uh, the Castellan has issued an order to the Kassarkins to do first rank fire, second rank fire. But also the way the Kassarkins orders work is you can select an order to affect them in the command phase. So you can do take aim with that as well if you wish. Yes, please. Yep. So, that, that's so that's first rank fire, second rank fire and take aim. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay. They're quite good. The Chimera has moved into position. There is a reason why I then, I then selected Inspired Command on the Death Corps mm. walls inside, inside yeah. the building. <laughs> the Vanquisher has moved into position to get in range of the Melter Guns against these. The Punisher Gatman Cannon is going to do exactly the same, uh, do supporting fire over there. And then the lower the gun still and to fire the position over there. The Lean Rust Tank Commander has stood still. I may as well blast them at point blank range with his blast weapon. Uh, 
Non-blast weapon. Non-blast. Oh, yes. So non-blast weapon. So the last weapon will fire at another target. Probably over there. Yeah. And uh, the Rogal Dawn has moved forward. Just going to shoot and kill and try and finish off this militia force. They must be purged. So that is the end of the command phase and movement phase. We're going to go straight on to the shooting phase next on turn four for the forces of the 18th Canadian Army Group. Hoorah! So four uh, multi-melter shots into those and the last cannon. Hitting on fives. Yes. It's not quite bracketed. It no. is four or less. One hit. Dead. Yes, <laughs> although, feel no pain. Feel no pain. Oh, D6 plus two. Yeah. He got seven saves of feel no pain on that one model. I think he's going to feel it. I think he's going to feel it too. Yeah. But you never know. But you never know. <laughs> I did roll a lot of fives earlier no. on. No. So he's Funny dead. The is now Le Morte. Our last cannon misses. Engage demolish a cannon. D6 plus three. Seven shots. There's five models who so don't get the benefit of blast. Hitting on fives. Uh, one hit. One wound. Uh, AP minus three. Will I get cover? Yeah, I'll give you cover. Yeah, you get a six of cover. Okay, six. Five. <laughs> D six damage. Two damage. To be fair, there's no film my as well. Last guns. I've got two uh, las guns each. So I'm going to fire the field ordnance guns into those. Hitting on fours. Uh, one hit. Yep. No wound. Field ordnance guns. Uh, no influence for the order because the officer's dead. So 2d6 plus... Is that a full unit? Is it just a unit of five? Unit four. Unit four. So 2d6 shots. Uh, five shots. Get on threes. Uh, that's two lethals. Uh, two hits. And that's four wounds in total. AP minus one, two damage. So four wounds in total, is that? Yeah, four wounds in total. I'm in the open now, so... Ooh! One wound. Uh, no, I'm in the open, so it'll be two wounds. Two wounds. Okay. So two have been slain. Mm. Over there. The exterminator autocannon is going to shoot into... The, uh, shoot into those. Okay. No, the exterminator auto cannon is going to, oh, come on. <laughs> no. Exterminator auto cannon is going to shoot into them. Right. The melter guns are going to shoot into your gaunt ghosts. Ooh. And the las cannon is going to shoot into gaunt ghosts as well. Ooh. So exterminator auto cannon, rapid fire, which is eight shots. The on fours. I apologise, which way is the exterminator going again? Then, take cover. Take cover. Uh, oh, I'm already in take cover. All the other units now will get plus one AP against them because of the exterminator. I'm already in cover? Yeah. Mm. They need it. So, fair enough. So, that's four hits. Yeah. Two to wounds. Strength is nine. That's four wounds. AP minus one. But you will get cover. Yeah, I'm already in cover anyway, so it's no yeah. point in me taking cover yeah. with the uh, strategy. Yeah. Uh, so... Fours because I've got to use the order. Yeah. Four dead. Uh, there's no, there, oh, I can try. Oh, one survived so far. Okay. No. no. So. Four dead. So let me see what. So the Kassikins will now um, get a further AP minus against that unit. Two, three, three, four. The medic is left. <laughs> four. <laughs> Four multi melters into Ghost Gaunt, so it's going to hit on fives. Yes. That's two hits. Yep. Uh, twos. Two boons, AP minus four. Uh, yeah, two are dead. Yep. Larkin and. Last cannon. Run. Hit. Oh, no, missed because it's minus one to hit because it's stealth. And that is it. Now. So far. Kassarkins. Yes. So I'm going to do the Chimera first. Okay. Hitting on fours. Twos. Two wounds. 
80 minus 1 because of the exterminator's ability. Of course. So down back up to back to fours. Yeah. Uh, so is that a two? Get that bug out of here. Go away. So two. <laughs> See how freak. Uh, Snake eyes. Snake eyes. He is dead. He's dead. And so is one of the other dudes. I'm gonna have yep. to take I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna take a wound off the hip team. Okay. But while the coming is firing, it still gets the minus one. But now, because the squad is separate, the casket won't get that extra bit. Okay, fine. It's a separate unit yeah. that killed them. That's fine. Uh, so, the heavy bolter. Yep. Sustain hit. So that three becomes a hit. Yep. Freeze. Oh, three wounds. Uh, AP minus one. AP minus one. So, fours again. Oh, two damage at all. Two damage each. So... Heavy bolts weapon team, no, and the standard bearer, no. Okay. Uh, next up is the last gun array, not yep. in rapid fire. Uh, that's three hits, two boots. I'm going to have to take this on the officer because I need to make it stay alive. Yep. <laughs> 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 So, falls. He's he. No, he takes a wound. Takes a wound. Down to okay. two. Down to two. Then the Kasakin stormtroopers next. This is going to be brutal. Yeah, it was up to here. Yeah. So, about half are in rapid fire. Yeah. We'll figure it out in a second. So, we're going to fire plasma pistol from the commander. Yep. He does hit, and that's a lethal. Oh, okay. okay. So does not get to refract a field. So it's not you didn't overcharge. It's only minus. No, it's just one. minus two. And it's minus two, so it goes to so what's it three? Goes to fives. Fives. Yeah. Passes. Passes. Well passes. done. Uh, Flamer D six auto hits. Two. Strength four. One wound. No cover, but the but the flame but the uh, thing is plus one save. So fours, feel no pain. Feel no pain. Passes. Passes, well done. Uh, hot shot las pistol. Yep. And then I've got a rapid fire hot shot las gun. So how many in rapid fire? Uh, was four. So that's. So you've got four in rapid fire range. Yep. One las, one hot shot las pistol, and then and the other. And then you've got three out of rapid fire range. Okay. No, so I have four. Right. Can I need dice rolling because you, if you need sixes, yes. So sixes are sustained, hitting on twos as well. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the order. Mm -hmm. uh, two lethals. It's two lethals, two sustained. Yep. So that one become sixes, two of all hit. Oh, so that's two sustained. Oh, no, so sustained just go back in, yeah. Yeah. Strength is free. Yep. I'm the other way. Uh, oh, that was a. That was a nut. That was a. That wasn't. That's it. That's fine. I'm happy with that result. Okay. One, two, three, um, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. Yeah. Nine saves of AP minus one. So fours. Fours. That's not a bad effort so far. Not bad. Uh, no pain. So fill the pains. Here we go. No! Oh, <laughs> they've been wiped out. Ah, oh, lucky. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Oh. <sighs> Dead. And it's just going to get bad to worse. I think the only thing you got left to fire. Oh, no, you've got the Punisher. I've got the uh, Sentinels and the Punisher. So the Punisher's going to go into your dudes. Oh, the, uh, the right shield. shield. Yep. Yeah. So twenty shots coming up. Punisher into the right shields. Uh, the uh, subjugators hitting on fours. Hmm. Not lethals because it's vehicle. However, two to wound. Six is for devastating to bypass your invulnerable save. Uh, all wounded, but no uh, devastating. So that there is nine saves. 
of AP minus nothing. So freeze, but I'll just make most of them. <laughs> One left. One left. <laughs> heavy bolter. Nine shots with a heavy bolter. Hit on fours. That's a sustained hit. Strength five. Yeah. Only two. AP minus, minus one. Passes. Passes. Oh, still alive. <laughs> right. Uh, Going to fire a... Fragmentation round into... You've either got the Krieg there's all these, the uh, subjugators. Going to split fire. So one of the missile launches into him. Yep. Frag. And the other two, frag. Okay. Oh, I've got also the Cadians. There's some Cadians in that side here as well. Oh, okay. Um, one Sentinel can see them. So do you want to do the freeways? Yeah, I'll do the freeways. So 1d6. Yeah. won't be in... You've got to fire the Rogaldorn. Yeah. So there's the Harker's group down there. Yeah. And you've got the Cadings here. Um, you would have, you'd probably wipe up most of it. I'm, I might have scored some extra points in the last turn, but yeah. I just won't be able to keep up with the, with the Yeah, attention. they just build up by the time it'd be turn yeah. five. Um, yeah, that's it, the end fair, of the game. As much as I, I could try and put it out of the bag at the last hurdle, mm. it, it's not, it wouldn't be realistic of the game view. You are in such a commanding yeah. presence on the board. Yeah. Um, there's it's not the tanks, a lot of... Isn't it? There's not a lot of uh, infantry left on the thing. We yeah. have been at this for a long time. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> I forgot to press the record button. Silly me. So <laughs> the summary was uh, they took two casualties. That was from the Sentinel. Well, yeah. one of the Sentinels. That split fire. So freeway split fire. One missile launch went into there and did two damage. Yep. Uh, another one did destroy that unit. Yes. Would you believe? And that one completely whiffed. Yeah. So uh, that but was the we result. But we were there. discussing it off camera as well. Yeah. Discussing it off camera as well. As much as as much as I could probably win the game on points. Yeah. It's not practical of what the situation is on the on the, the battlefield. Yeah. It's the not battlefield is literally you are in such a commanding presence. You've got you've yeah. still got all your tanks. Yeah. Um, and to be fair, we've been at this for a long. It's been a long, long day. It's been a long, long day. <laughs> it's been Fun. It's been absolute absolutely fun. I'm not... Come on, let's have a good shake hand. Come yeah. on, there you go. We did it. Um, we got know, there in the it, end. It's been, it's, been absolute, it's been an absolute pleasure to come down. It's been absolutely fun to play. Yeah. To be fair, I saw the amount of tanks. Went. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but units of the game. We have to quickly uh, do units of the game. I'm doing this quickly because I want to get this done because I'm really <laughs> worried that I'll run out of memory. <laughs> So big thank you to everyone that has kept coming, yeah. kept watch the whole thing. Really, I'm actually that, right? torn on this one. Yeah, Deathcore Creek, the big blob of Deathcore Creek, mm -hmm. the ten man blob of Deathcore Creek. Yeah, they did well. And the subjugators. Yeah. Now, yeah. as much as Gold's Ghost is a is an absolute legend unit, yeah, that's what they're meant to be. Yeah. But just having those aspiring units doing mm. what they were doing, mm. absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Um, also, just doing bayonets charge as well, which is what mm. I mean. As I said to earlier on, on the game, I had to get in close, mm. and I lost a lot of my anti tank in turn one. Yeah, it was a killer. Um, it was a killer. That was a big point. Yeah. Good target allocation. Yeah. For the Canadians at the beginning, units for the game for me. Honorable mention to the Vanquish. I did pretty well. Knocked out all both tanks. Mission yes. accomplished. Secured that flank. Uh, the field ordnance guns did pretty well. The tank commander did pretty well. The Rogal Dawn did very well. So the unit of the game, for me, has to be the Armoured Sentinels. Yeah. They did absolutely superb. I'm not going not gonna to lie, missile launchers on those are a killer. They are a killer. <laughs> yeah. Uh, frag against Horde units. Brilliant. Well, Anti-Horde. Because they're regiment and squadron. Regiment so and squadron. They get, ev they get lethal against everything. They get lethal against everything. So that's it. So there you go. That's the conclusion of another battle report. Uh, so if you want to uh, support the channel for free, it is so simple. Please remember, if you enjoyed this battle report, 
hit that like button, subscribe, hit the bell icon uh, to be notified when the next battle report will be up and share this video to as many people as possible. So uh, to get the word out there. And if you want to support me further, uh, please head over to patreon.com forward slash the 18th Cadian Army Group and be amongst the ranks of the Army Group. All the way up to White Shield, to Generals. So uh, new perks, brand new, brand new refreshed. And also I've condensed all the tiers and repackaged it into one. It makes so much more sense. And you get a lot more now for what you get. And the other thing as well, you can support me also on YouTube membership. If you support on both YouTube and Patreon, you get extra perks on top of that. Do check out the details on the website. It'll be, all the video links will be in the video description below. And big shout out to all my sponsors. We have C Studios, GamingFigures.com and GameMat.eu. We are using one of those battle mats from GameMat.eu uh, as well. Big shout out to Paul David Gray. We salute you, sir. <laughs> the Civil War is over. And a big shout out to all the other Patreons that are supporting me. Uh, you guys are absolute legends. Uh, we can only really do a battle report once a month at the moment. But the more supporters that join, maybe there'll be another battle report within the month as well. And could be uh, there'll be extra perks and extra content for you guys as well. Big thank you to all those who have watched throughout the whole game. Right, I had enough. <laughs> Had enough of this game. <laughs> it's taken say too that. long. Don't say that. <laughs> no, it's, it is good. It's been a <laughs> glorious day. So there you go. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, happy wargaming. Jacobus Courtesan of the Lord, High Lord General of the 18th Cadian Army Group signing out. Thank you guys for watching. And happy wargaming.